Uh, which one of you nerds kill. wants to tell me what happened last week? I barely remember. Yeah. <laughs> All right, how about we start with the Jean waking up from the storm? I did that. I was groggy. <laughs> oh, and then we had to go kill those uh, those sentient frog people. The murlocs, yes. That's the murlocs, dude. We got called up to do that. You guys hunted some murlocs. Uh, you met up with the rest of the people on board the ship. Uh, Grog Probably and Adrian. Shivaka as a lifelong friend. You guys definitely have an ally in Shivaka. Uh, Adrian befriended uh, Grok uh, over just being tough. You finally met uh, Barefoot Sams. You finally met Cocky. Uh, you met uh, what's it called? You guys are what's it called? Uh, you uh, Adrian bluffed himself into in with Phipps gang. About saying, oh, I'm totally not a member of this party. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, I didn't Ar- know I was blue. Uh-huh. Aretta told you what's it called. You guys finally met Aretta. She was one of Japes' friends. However, you guys were able to... I wouldn't say she's on your side, but she definitely has some respect for you. Uh, she told you the story of a friend of hers named Kenway who got turned to chocolate via some... Uh, wild magic that you guys totally don't have in a bottle or anything like that. Uh, you also <laughs> met up with, you also spent some time talking to Owlbear and learned that one, his name is not Owlbear, and two, that he has been subject to ability drain, as it were, out of character. Though I don't think you guys know that in character quite yet. Right, we know That's that she did game. something to him that was making him, like, hurting his head or whatever. This is how he described it. So, out of character, yeah, so in character, he has been subject to some sort of magical experiment. And final hit on the subject of magical experiments, right at the end of the night, uh, the party needed some money, and so Sandra and Aretta started having an arm wrestling competition. The two of them got into it, got back and forth. You guys ended up doing a big two out of three with a whole bunch of tacks on board a barrel. Wrestling, wrestling, wrestling. And then right in the last minute, Adrian noticed that Fish Guts did something. Not entirely sure what. Uh, resulting in Sandra winning. Party goes to bed. Party wakes up. Now day 13. And would the party like to have uh, any sort of conversation before, uh, before I roll for <laughs> shipped actions? Yeah, I feel like I think we had a conversation that night. Oh, right, fair yeah, enough. So, it's the night before. So I was up on the top deck when all that was going on. So I do not. I uh, Ben did not see what, what uh, happened with ship gut, yeah. fish gut. Sick move, Sandra. I didn't know you were that strong. Well, I'm not. I was surprised as well. But all of a sudden, I just felt a a push. You know, knew it couldn't oh. lose. Uh, Besmara blessed you. She she wanted you to have that one. Certainly. That must be it. Oh, yeah. You're quite powerful. I like to think so, too. I didn't think you had it in you. Uh, just out of character, who rolled the perception check to see Fish Guts? It was Adrian, if I recall correctly. I saw his eyes. You saw his eyes tint purple. A blessing from Very Fish Guts, also known as Bismara. Sure, oh, let's go with that. Guts, you say. <laughs> something, really. What, did, did Fish Guts do something? Did he, like, spit in your hand before that and give you extra power from all the liquor that's infused in it? <laughs> oh, I, I said that out of character. Oh. <laughs> oh I, I think I think us? it's I think it's funnier if you said it in character. <laughs> I mean, Sandra doesn't know either. What do you, does Adrian say anything? Uh we're right in the middle of everything, right? Right now, okay. party's right about to go to bed, yeah, or it's early morning on the thirteen. Yeah, you guys are in your bunks. I've seen something interesting tonight. I think we might oh. have a conversation late for later. Okay, okay. 
No hints? Um, there may be another me. Another you? Oh, yeah. I mean, there's been at least three tieflings we've heard of. Are you, that's not a surprising thing. You know, you're making me eat my own words. <laughs> <laughs> What's the uh, the situation of, like, other people around us right now? Are we semi-private? Like, do we can have a conversation? You're or... in your bunks. There's no privacy in the bunks, but as long as you're whispering, you figure you should be fine. He's going to, Adrian's going to tap his forehead and his lights. His eyes will light up. Oh. That's a neat trick. Uh, you know what? I should have done this a long time ago, friends, but I'm just going to pass a quick detect magic around us. Just make sure that there's nothing kind of like spying on us down here. Uh, detect magic on the rest of the ship. Uh, you're going to get Just like a... in our general area. Uh, I mean, the three of you guys who are casters are going to definitely get a ping as magical. Uh, okay. And all of your magical items are going to ping as magical, but I don't think any other member of the ship has magic swag. Uh, oh, if you point straight up, there's going to be like 15 pings from the quartermaster's office. Okay, uh, sweet. And maybe I just another wanted to make sure that there wasn't like a... a... And maybe yeah, there like okay. 15 pings from uh, Mazer's office. Probably like 30 pings, honestly, because from all the way up there. But no, there's uh, you do not detect any, like, scrying sensors. The ship is way okay, too cheap sweet. for that. I figured just to be safe, you know, <laughs> since we're talking about throwing parties and whatnot down here occasionally, just... Ah, uh, uh, yes, throwing parties. Was. I think, uh... I think we're coming on... To the chance of actually throwing our party. Oh. And what makes you say that? Well, we've been here for a while. I believe it's time that we start working on it. Okay. Okay. How do we convince the guests to join? It's a big ask. Ah. Well. To say for certain, we have... A handful that will probably be really willing to join. Okay, that's true. We got at least two that I know of, and maybe a, a few maybes. So, I've got a slight problem with throwing the party without anything more than just people on our side. I'm oh, pretty sure yes, Necria yeah. by herself can kill us all. Yes. And we kill her first. Easy as that. <laughs> we can figure out the way to... On Someone the other hand, either... you what, what was that weird rainbow thing that you got in a vial? Is that something that would be useful? Uh, Do you pull out the I rainbow potion? I still don't. I'll, I'll like, do not know you what know, that is. Slyly pull it out and be like, I have no idea what this does. It's not a pure disease potion like I was told. That's for damn sure. So, out of character, somebody here got the story about the random magic potion that mm -hmm. turned someone into chocolate. Mm -hmm. And I did, my character did not hear this story, but someone did, and I believe the description matched up very closely with this potion. So someone should be able to make that connection. Ooh, that was uh, uh, that's a bit metagamey, but if Sh Sh Vend is smart enough to realize that, sure, this this is what you think it is. I think that was uh, Jean, no. It was not me. It was whoever was speaking with in the uh, in the villages. Are correct? No. No, oh, it was on top was deck. There. Between the three of you guys, I'll let you make that connection. Character, sure. Yes. You realize yeah, it was this in the, potion in the text, of the text RP. This potion of concentrated gay is not exactly what you think it is. Okay, so this is some kind of wild magic potion. That this we is. Say. This is going to have a very unpredictable effect once drunk. Oh, my God. 
And I think Terror knows exactly what this is, but that would be metagame. <laughs> I don't want to drink it. You Just guys should probably right drink now. it. Oh, I'm not saying anyone <laughs> should drink it. I'm saying that uh, we've got someone who fixes meals for the whole crew. I say feed it to uh, Necria and see what happens. Mm. Okay. I like that, but on the day of the party, right? We're not just going to do that and then uh, get me keel-hauled real quick, correct? I do want to say, uh, this is Terra speaking. When I drank something like this, my it ass literally no got destroyed. Ain't no metagaming. No metagaming. <laughs> this is better? Okay. No stories. Let the party figure out what this is. <laughs> okay. I thought we knew. Okay. I mean, hey, her her trying to heal all you could very well be the thing that sets off our our that starts the party. That is true. That is true. There's also the surely, surely we go on in a uh, a piracy adventure here, right? We've been doing fuck call for the past two weeks. We got to be hitting the ship. We got to be hitting something. Maybe. We uh, help an accident along the way during one of these, if at all possible. Something along those lines is kind of what I've been hoping to to happen over the last couple of weeks. I mean, it's like, Mazer's got to get his money somewhere, and surely after, you know, we haven't really asked around, but does anybody know when the last time we did any kind of raid? Um, I would turn to Sandra. She's been on longer than us, if only by a couple days. Any ideas? What was the question? Sorry. Uh, I was asking Sandra if she knows when the last time the that uh, Mazer took another ship was. Uh, that was before you joined, Sandra. It's been a while. Interesting. Okay, so we're due, right? Did we try to do some covert thinning of the numbers then before we launch this whole party? Because surely, like, I can't imagine Necria is going to fall in battle, but, like, you know, one of the other officers perhaps to, you know, weaken them a little bit. Is any of you in each perchance good at penmanship? Well. What? Is that a check? <laughs> that would be a linguist. It's a linguistic skill, basically, if you're trying to forge something. So, passable? Anybody? Yeah, I have a mediocre uh, ability I can write, but maybe not forge. I imagine for one of the other officers, we can probably write that, uh, that they're trying to throw... Their own party against mm. me Ma for Mazer, if you catch my meaning. Yes, we sow some ah. some discord in the ranks. Possibly I see what you mean, and I like it. An enemy pirate contacting our friends, officers. Have have any of you gotten close enough to any of the officers to have any idea who would be a plausible pick for that? <laughs> you guys have only really been interacting I... with two of the officers right now. I will say I, the bald I mean... one is annoying. <laughs> Mr. Plug? <laughs> Plug and Necrea. I do know of a couple of higher up pirates that we could perhaps use for some more authenticity uh, okay. in my previous travels. That would be good. Uh, where are their names? I'm trying to find it in my backstory here. Oh, Maxville Janus of Rapier Bay. I believe that might be some ways away from us, but surely Mazer would know of his name. He is one of the uh, the hands to one of those on the Pirate Council. Then I believe we've gotten one of the officers hey, taken... Done. 
and you'll see him trying to stumble around, trying to figure out a word that isn't fucking aggressive. <laughs> Handled. Mute. So, do we like fake a correspondence between an officer and this Maxville Jans, and hope that it's discovered? Well, um, Kevin, exactly when we make the runs for the letters, what locations do we visit? Uh, when you guys have been making the runs, it's mostly between three locations. There's Mazer's Cabin, uh, which obviously none of you have been al allowed inside of. So when you guys have picked up letters from him, it's mostly just been under the door stuff. Uh, when you've delivered letters to Sandra or Necrea, you generally hand them directly to them. Uh, when they've been delivered to Fish Guts, which is usually just requests for dinner... Uh, you've usually handed them directly to him. Uh, Riz, she's not around a huge amount, but uh, occasionally when she's walking around, she's the one who usually does the maintenance of the cannons. Uh, you'll find her either in Mazer's cabin or walking around outside, though very rarely. Uh, the other two mostly stay in the, what's it called, uh, Patches and the Quinn, basically the... Uh, the ship surgeon, as well as the ship's wizard, uh, they mostly stay in this room, which is like underneath the main bow. So you guys maybe have seen that door opened occasionally and seen a whole bunch of like bubbling cauldrons and like various arcane implements inside there. At which point she'll just take the message and slam the door in your face. Oh, you'll also okay. occasionally find fish guts in this room. Uh, I have not revealed that room to you. I probably should. That's uh, Fishguts' bedroom. Listen, I'm... I'm pretty close with Fishguts at this point. He's looked out for me on more than one occasion, and I think out of all of the officers that could be a potential ally, I think he would be our best bet. If I don't think want, he qualifies as an officer, though. Like he, he definitely considers himself at least a step below the the core officers. That's that is true. He's, he's definitely higher up than us, though. True. Oh, he's also the one that helped out uh, Sandra, by the way. Oh, what? Oh, I mean, you think you he may be some kind of cast? He was cheering for you, Sandra. Right. Right. Yes. Yeah, right. right. Okay, so he's, he's some sort of a bard. That I do not know. Anyway, I just know that. Um, follow up question for the DM. You'd mentioned that uh, one of the officers is going around doing rounds, like maintaining cannons. Uh, yes, you have seen this character around. I have not revealed her quite a whole lot because you guys haven't directly interacted with her. Uh, okay, but where is... are the cannons at? Uh, where are the cannons at? There's a fair few on the top deck. Uh, why are there no cannons on the map? That's weird. I should spawn some cannons. There were never cannons. cannons, Kevin. I should spawn <laughs> in some cannons. That's weird. Yeah, I, I remember there being like some broken down like catapults and ballistas. I don't remember there ever being mention of cannons. So I, that's why I, I was I, confused. I, I thought they were on the map. They just never come up. That's why. Uh, there are three. There are at least quite a few cannons on this ship. There are two on the top deck. Uh, on so there would be one over here, uh, one over here. All right, so that'd be four on the top deck, and there's probably and there is a fair few on the lower deck as well. Uh, generally, however. Most of the cannons and most of the weapons on this ship are currently in storage, because obviously there's a few for when you're sailing around, though generally when you see another ship, it'll take like at least a day for you to close with that other ship until you're into like firing range. So yes, there are a lot of weapons downstairs, but they're all mostly just like packed up. Like you see there's a catapult down there, there's like a trebuchet down there, there's like a prop there's like a big ass fucking cannon down there. Uh it's all like packed up like very haphazardly in boxes though. You know this is pretty standard for sailing is you don't just leave your weapons out in the open air for them to rust. You pack them away and then when you're expecting battle you get the crew to like bring out all the weapons. 
just curious okay. if there would be any way to sabotage those to possibly take out uh, the the officer inspecting them and maintaining them. Oh, ab- absolutely. If there's something you would like to do to one of the cannons, let me know. You want to start day 13? We can get to that. Yeah. Okay, wait, let's hash out a plan here quick. So we want to sabotage weapons. We want to forge a letter. And I can probably talk to fish guts if you guys think that's a good idea. Not... Yeah, I'd say so. Adrian will join you. Okay. Okay. I I just feel like I, I have like private access with him basically for a majority of the day when we're cooking in the kitchen so I can probably have a more discreet conversation without drawing too much attention to us ah that does make sense All right, yeah, so let's um, move on to the start of the day and get some stuff rolling. Wonderful. All right. I, I, I know you guys want to get through these days as fast as I do as well. So, all right, cool. Start of day, we uh, we have three riggers, or we have three uh, swabs and one rigger. So I'm going to, or no, we have three, we don't have a rigger anymore. We have three swabs and we have the cook's mate. Uh, so first swab is Ven. Uh, do, 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 3d6. Do. Uh, Ven, you're on the bilges today, which I know you love doing. It's a strength check and then a fort save to not get fatigued. What would you like to do today? I'm going to proceed to do what I do every time they assign me bilges and say, fuck off, I'm not doing your job. <laughs> Until right. they stop assigning me that job. <laughs> you're just getting unlucky. Like, I'm just straight up, like, not even rolling. I'm not taking the, like, I'm not going down into the Belges, not taking the fort penalty, just straight up saying, nope, not doing it, and fucking off. All right, all right, so are you, uh, are you doing I might Bashir? try to find someone willing to, I may try to find someone to switch with me. Oh, okay, all right, so you're just, you're shirking today, fair enough, all right. I just want to know if you're saying no to Necrius' face. All right, what would you rather be doing today, then? Honestly, I don't have anything in particular in mind. Let us inspect the... Let's do some searching around the area with the the cannons. All right. Roll perception. Ooh, nothing. Not with a five. Nope. As for the person you were shirking with... Uh, do... do, do. Well, they actually did a pretty good job, so you don't get in trouble today. Uh, Adrian got a four, so you are on rope and knot work today. So this is either a, this is a sailor check and then a con check to not get tired at the end of it. Uh, or would you like to be working diligently? Uh, would you like to go shopping today? Do you want to talk to someone? Do you want to shirk your duties? I'm broke. I don't got no money. Um, want to go pickpocketing? I don't think I can get away with that. All right. Want to loot the oh. village just when Vent's not in there? Definitely not. Considering right. I was locked in that place, my boy doesn't want to go back. All right. What would you rather be doing today? Or do you just want to who's work Who's around me doing... Everybody. Yeah, who's on top deck? Uh, who's on top deck right now? Uh, it's called Jape, Roy, uh, Phipps, uh, Necria, and Shiva. Okay. Um... I don't... I think my boy's just going to go ahead and just do his work. So just, I don't just see... Just work diligently for the day? Yeah. I don't see what I could be doing. Hey, roll it. 
Uh, yeah, that's a good idea. I, I will pin the work chart. Yeah, I believe it already but, is, though. However, you do a shit job of moving the rope, you end up tripping over your, your own rote, and so you get bashed with a rope a few times. Take four non-lethal. Uh, Sandra... <laughs> Sandra gets a five. So you're on message running today again. Awesome. So this is an acrobatic check and a con check. You want to work diligently, you want to search around, you want to do something. Uh, I'm going to shirk. Ah, what would you rather be doing today? Uh, where is it? Here it is. Okay. Uh, I would like to kind of... This is the part of the boat that's like right under the quartermaster's storage, right? Uh, where you guys sleep, yeah. Right, okay. Uh, I'm just going to make a perception check to see if there's like any weak points in the boards, any anything I can exploit. Ah, okay. System. Interesting, interesting pattern. Go for it. Uh, perception. Oh yeah, absolutely. There's a ton of weak boards on this ship. Like, maybe not something you can remove easily without being noticed, but... If you had, say, a much more dexterous character, uh, absolutely. Okay. Uh, you still have to actually roll at a minus two, though. Uh, oh, yeah. Acrobatics, right? Uh, acrobatics, and then a fourth save to not get fatigued. All right. Ah. You fuck up. <laughs> that is a zero. I totally <laughs> dropped the message in the water again. <laughs> Probably. And then fourth save to not get fatigued, take seven non-lethal. Uh, fourth save. Where the hell did I put that? There it is. Uh, you are unfortunately fatigued because you're still at minus two for shirking. Oh. Sandra does not have a fun day today. Uh, and Cook's mate is on the six. Is a six. Uh, six is. Oh yeah, that. All right. Uh, friggin' uh. Zan goes down to Fish Guts, you see him cooking up this big thing, and you're going to actually see him, like, getting this big old like, pail ready, and he's going to say, you have no belief, you have no idea what we're doing today, Sean. Guess what? What is it, Fish Guts? It's fucking Mazer's birthday. Cool. And okay. I have no idea what I'm supposed to fucking make for him. <laughs> Any oh, idea? We'll throw him a party. A what? We'll throw him a party. Uh, I need to get him a party in his mouth. That's the problem. And I can't think of what I want to make from him for all of this garbage. That's all we got on the ship. Uh, we don't have any pigs running around still. I mean, we could slaughter a pig, but that's what we always do, really. Okay. He's turning okay. like what? Like 102? I think that's an important occasion. Hmm. Well, I don't know. Maybe we, uh, you and I, we go do a little fishing trip. Oh, uh, any particular fish you think we'd be looking for? Uh, maybe we could get a fucking marlin. Imagine that. Whole roasted marlin. That's... Tucked right down in front of him. I love it. You think you can catch one of those for me? Uh, I used to be a fisherman in a different life, so I could definitely give it a more spirited attempt than most, I'd say. All right. He throws you a fishing. He throws you like a fishing pole. Go for it. Yeah, you're coming with me, right? Okay. <laughs> he follows out of you. At which point he's like, he starts like trying to squeeze his way through this door. Uh, however, you see, he's like basically never left the kitchen. <laughs> so he's like slowly <laughs> squeezing his way through the door, and he gets through after like thirty seconds through his like fucking belly fat. And he okay. like runs after right. you. So, yeah, so this is a so, profe this is a profession fisherman check. Are we um Oh, I have minus one to profession checks, that's cursed. <laughs> Uh, is there, like, any chance that there's, like, a, like, a small little, like, dinghy that we take out, or is it, like, is the ship fully moving still? Oh, the, the ship is like, always are we, moving. Are we parked up? The okay. ship is always okay. moving. Just... You guys are casting your lines off the side of the ship. 
Okay. Can we go to like a less populated area so that we could have like a more private conversation or I mean there's portholes at the what's it called on the second deck. If you don't mind moving a few of the crates. We can cast the lines out through there. Yeah, well, you know, for the Marlins, they like catching fast swimming fish, so we want to be as low down to the water, get the lure moving as far fast as possible, and hopefully we can lure one in here. Uh, what about the bunks? Uh, so... That should be pretty empty. Go to the porthole right next to the m monks. Yep, say no more, man. See, you, you know more about fishing than you let on. I mean, it's because it's I'm sober today. It's because I need to go mix up some new grogs. I don't want to go through the... The problem is, is, we only have so much alcohol on the ship, and if I have everybody drinking pure alcohol, we're going to go through it in, like, a day. So I have to mix it with water. And I hate doing it, but it's what makes it the alcohol last longer. Yeah, fair enough. But it doesn't make you drunk enough, oh. is the problem. Eleven succeeds. <laughs> So I just rolled... Oh, 11 succeeds, never mind. I was going to say, I have a fishing net. Could I use that to get some kind of like bonus on my roll? But oh, I'll, succeeds, I'll give you a plus one for the fishing Marlin. net. But yeah, all, all the tasks for pirate stuff is DC 10. But, man, we got lucky today. Uh, so uh, I guess while I assume this is going to take some time, my action is going to be to influence it. I'm just going to like try and uh, tease some information out of fish guts here. All right, do you want to roll it or would you rather role play it? Well, we'll do we'll do a little bit of both, because uh, we are. It's empty down here in the bunks currently, right? Like I can have. It's more, relatively uh, empty. Like you might see like similar to like at night time. Yeah, like there's people around, but, yeah. but it's mostly just like the dog and Jack. Okay, cool. So fish guts, you've been on the ship for a while, right? Almost uh, twenty years at this point. I. Oh. I mean, I'm not on this ship still... specifically, but on Mazer's crew, I. Okay, I'm just trying to get a feel for the, the like, the politics around here. It feels like, I don't know if it's just me, but does it feel a bit tense here? Like, I don't know, can you, like, let me in on any kind of, like, interesting tidbits or anything like that? Politics on the ship, well... This ship, and he just kind of, he runs a hand along, like, the side, and you see, like, splinters of wood coming off, and, like, you see, like, splinter, he, like, intentionally splinters his hand, but he's so fat, he doesn't even realize it. This ship, this ship's poisonous, John, but don't let anybody hear you say it. The hull listens, and the captain can hear anything the hull hears. This ship is rotten to the core. It's you'll not meet a more nasty, sour piece of work than that Captain fucking Mazer. In all your days at sea, especially fucking Necria. Vicious little bitch she is. She'd take her own then, mother and livers in the butcher. Then why why have you stayed so long? Just no other work? Oh, well, they they leave me alone mostly. I'm just the cook. They know I can't harm them. I disagree. If I poison their I... food, they come down here and poison me with their lead. I think you might be more powerful than you let on. We saw what you did last night, Fish Guts. He tilts his head to the side and he's like, I have no idea what you're talking about. Listen, I'm not going to rat you out or anything like that. I'm I'm just curious what's really going on around here. You seem to be feigning this incompetence, and I'm just curious as to why. You could be much more well-respected around here, have more power, and I just I don't understand. You're, you're referring to that little... Uh, uh, Sander got the upper hand on that uh, other woman. Yes. That, my friend, that was just luck. That was just the seas of Ismara going in a particular direction and pushing luck up and down. Uh, I, when I get lucky, my eyes also glow purple. You're right. <laughs> I'll, I'll admit that there are ways to influence luck in the world, but... There are things that 
and I only, and I ask you this not as your superior, and I ask you this as a friend. There are certain things that I can do that have kept me from getting fed to the shark. There is there's a reason that I am fish guts and not fish bait. There are things that perhaps Mazur doesn't quite understand about me down here. But I assure you, I'm more than happy to be serving him for the time being. There's a wider world out there. And things happening in that world that your head is just a little too small to be knowing about right now. If you be getting my meaning. I mean, no offense, little one. I... I understand, but can... Are you truly my friend, Fish Do I have your trust? I, if you can be trusting me with these, if I can trust you with my words, then you can be trusting me with yours. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah. Well, if you're asking I me about the will... birthday party you're planning for Mazer, I did hear about <laughs> that. Oh. Wait, how did you hear about that? His eyes glow purple again for like a slight half second, then they stop. And he just smiles. Okay. Well, fuck this feigning of ignorance, and do we have your support <laughs> in this? I... I think... I think you might be going a little bit too fast. Right now, you've been making a few friends aboard this ship, but I assure you, even if you got everyone on board with your little birthday party idea. You're not gonna take out Mazer and his crew. They be as they be quite loyal to him. That being said, however, the Wheel of Fate is a very fickle mistress. And things things will be happening soon. Is that a good way to say that? That's a good way to say that. Things are going to be happening soon to make your birthday party a little bit easier. Oh my god. Fish guys, you fucking... Are you like some ancient deity or something? You're blowing my fucking mind right now. I... <laughs> he laughs a little bit. What if I was? <laughs> well, listen. If you have a better plan and you need help... Me and my friends will help you. Just say the word. I would very much like your help. But right now, we got a, we got a regular birthday party cake to plan. So let's focus on that now, shall we? Okay. Awesome. I think, you've been right, learning, I think we've learned a little bit too much about each other. It was shit, I haven't revealed too much. Like, you know? But, yeah, man... I love you, Fish Guest. You're the fucking man. I I wish more people said that. Uh, at this point, you catch your fish. Sweet. Uh, do you, do I even need to roll a diplomacy check on that or anything? I think uh, I think we're past the point of diplomacy checks with fish guts. Okay. Yeah. We we've moved sweet, on to a sweet. different category with that character. <laughs> but okay, yeah, fish guts right. pre prepares the fish meal, and then we move on to night to actions. Diplomats. So, again, I, I just pinned the ship actions in the Discord. I don't think Monkey... Did Monkey get a turn? Uh, uh, yes. Did, oh, shit, did, did I skip Sandra? I'm sorry. No, 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 I, you got me. You Sandra, but... Oh, yeah, you did oh. the... Uh, well, you did the... I was looking for vulnerabilities. Yeah, you found a thing. So we are on nighttime actions. Uh, Sandra is still fatigued. You want to talk to the party, or would you rather go to bed early to break your fatigue? Uh, I want to break the fatigue. All right, cool. Party goes. The party reconvenes. Sleep. Sandra's already asleep. <laughs> she's, she's she sleeps face down. All right, what do the rest of you guys want to do at night? I'm gonna draw on Sandra's face. Wonderful. <laughs> nice. Would anyone like to take a nighttime shift action, or are we moving on to day fourteen? Um. Yeah, I'm. I'm personally, I'm good to go. I just want to uh, talk to the party as my nighttime action. 
Yeah, I, I figure you do. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So I will make rounds just like touching base with fr- with friends, but nothing that we need to like role play out. Just like making sure I'm keeping keeping contact with people, chit chat, and being yep. sociable. The people you're talking to are still talk are still willing to talk to you. The people you have not been talking to are probably t- speaking shit about you behind your back. Uh, mostly yeah, Jape and crew, but you notice Aretta, the person who you try, you guys tried to warm up the other day, she's started giving you the cold shoulder again. Unless you specifically want to go talk to her again. Schmooze her up. So remind me what we know about Aretta, because I do not, like, she, she is a name to me at the moment. Uh, did you meet Aretta? I don't remember who. I'm, I'm, I'm not, so, uh, yeah, Ben may not have been the one who met her. That maybe I'm not remembering yeah. anything. I spoke to Aretta. She's been on the ship for a while. It was her friend, correct, that got turned into chocolate. Yes, that was Aretta's um, friend. Though presumably uh, other people she, on the ship may have known that character. Yeah, the, basically the only thing I was able to get out of that conversation was the fact that she's just like with Jabe's crew just like almost for the security of it just because uh you know safety in numbers essentially and i couldn't really get she, too much she else seems out of rather her. intelligent for a pirate as well yeah um and, and on that same vein obviously i would like to just occasionally go say what up to shivika considering i'm the only one you can talk to her just to you know we're homies I mean, she, she she will at this point, since you guys have been interacting with her to the point, she will politely ask you, hey, can you teach... Um, let, let, me, let me say that in character. She will say, uh, if you... Uh, if you don't... If you don't mind, uh, I appreciate you talking to me, but I can't help but understand you can also speak... I don't want to say human, but I will say white people... No, that, that sounds racist. I will, you can speak... Varsnian, or whatever it is. Common tongue, yes. I wouldn't call it the common Uh, tongue. This language, to me, is the common tongue. Pirate language. That everyone else can speak. Okay. You know, we can can take some time every night. I can teach you some words, maybe get you a little bit more linguistically uh, advanced. I, I would not ask this of you if I knew anyone else to ask. You've already done so much for me, and I wouldn't want... I wouldn't want to ask anything else. Uh, you're the big homie, Shiver Cuts, no problem. She hugs you. Okay, yeah. Awesome, I hug her back. Uh, and I guess uh, for the next few nights, I don't know if you want to roleplay it out, but I'll just like take an hour or so and teach you a bit of uh, the yeah, time. Yeah, um, it might take a few weeks, but if you want to spend your time doing that, yeah. absolutely. Yeah, that, that's totally fine by me. So I am going to recommend that someone in the party who has previously interacted with Aretta try to mend fences, since I do notice she's giving us more of that cold shoulder. But as I don't have that relationship with her, I don't necessarily want to be the one trying to repair that relationship. So Ven just going to bed? Uh, Ven will actually spend his time trying to uh, talk to Cocky. Uh, they had a very nice high stakes game the other night. Um, she was very disappointed that he didn't lose so she could rip off his arm with her nails, but he might be willing to, to chat her up and maybe find someone else that she can rip an arm or two off of. Alright, cool. And, uh, Jean, you doing anything? Or no, Jean, you're talking uh, to, uh, Shivika. If I'm talking to Shivika and that's my action, that's fine, but, like, I will go talk to Aretta at some point, maybe tomorrow night, and see if I can't, uh... Alright, one or the other for ship actions. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I'll talk to Shivika tonight. All right, cool. And, uh, Adrian, we'll what are you up to? Um, after writing drawing whiskers cool. on uh, Sandra, um, he'll basically rub his hands. Is anybody still with us? Uh, if you want there to be someone nearby. Ven, what did you go do? Uh, you see Ven walking over to uh, talk to Aretta. No, to oh. Cocky. Oh, no. To Cocky, sorry. Uh, you'll see Cocky there, and... Uh, sure, Phipps is probably setting up another, like, round of, round of gambling. You're welcome to join in with that, or just talk. I don't know, I'm broke. <laughs> Didn't you just uh... win a bunch of gold at the end of last session? <laughs> you guys just won a bunch of gold. You're not allowed to be broke again. 
I want to be real. I lost gold. Oh my god. <laughs> we might have been winning, but I still lost. <laughs> All right, what does Adrian want to uh, do tonight? Uh, you can go to bed. You can gamble. You can entertain the crew. Talk to someone. Sneak about, or try to steal something. You know, I think Adrian might go ahead and head to entertain the crew. All right, cool. Uh, how would you like to entertain the crew? All right. All right. Adrian's basically gonna. How many people we got top deck? Uh, half dozen. Okay, Adrian will go ahead and head over there and say, "All right, gather round, gather round for another tale of adventure." All right, Ven, you find Cocky listening to Adrian's totally made-up tales of adventure. Adrian, you can roll for me perform. Uh. How do you approach this, Van? Nice. Yeah, pretty, as, as pretty good tales. As he's doing his performance, I'm going to be doing um, basically a bluff check, just undercutting anything he says to, to Cocky, just kind of either emphasizing, just trying to make it more entertaining uh, from, from the <laughs> sidelines. Uh, you're just cracking Very jokes nice. at him. Uh, you, don't, you don't need a roll for that. You'll make her laugh. She'll be like, really? He didn't actually eat a giant shark tail in? Tail in? I could no, never in fact, get... he, got, he started with the fin. <laughs> <laughs> he decided the closer to the mouth, the better. Oh my god, did that happen the other day when Fish Guts or whatever took him and was like hanging him off the side and he was fishing with magic? Well, you remember that. Yes, that, that, that was exactly it. Yes. Oh my god, that was ridiculous. What's more ridiculous is that the magic fishing actually works. I I don't understand this magic oh stuff. Oh my god, that's... he caught fish with that spell? I mean, that's what we ate for dinner, like, two nights afterwards. Oh my god, I, I couldn't even taste the electricity in it. I mean, it gets a good char on it. You can see the sear on, on the skin. I am actually surprised you even noticed that. I when, I when I'm eating that, I just, I try not to get the bones in my mouth. And it goes on that way for a while. Alright, cool. You just making small talk with her, or do you want to actually talk to her about something? Or just trying to no, be friendly? Uh, yes, fr fr friendly, a little bit of flirting, that whole non nonsense, and going on, on our way. Alright, cool. Ooh. Roll me uh, diplomacy. Get yourself with my a wife, massive man. negative one. Yeah. <laughs> oh, right. I forgot <laughs> oh, you're not okay. a Christmas-based character. <laughs> Even if I was charisma based, the way I roll my diplomacy checks, it would not matter. Oh my god! All right, you. Uh, I like to imagine what's it called? <laughs> what a one! I like to imagine Adrian's like telling this crazy story, and fucking Ven shows up with like Johnny Bravo tier pickup lines, <laughs> yeah, just absolutely striking out on the sidelines. <laughs> and it's like she's like she goes from smiling to like less smiling. And she doesn't hate you, but she mostly just kind of, like, she pulls out, like, a toothpick, starts sucking on it, and she's just like, look, buddy, if that's what you're interested in, it's ten gold a night. Nah, we're good. <laughs> Alright, cool. Day 13. <laughs> or day 14, sorry. Alright, and uh, day 14, something actually happens today. Sweet, can we just have a quick uh, team huddle in the morning? Cool, morning, everybody goes to bed, everybody wakes up, uh, your fatigue is gone, you can re-prepare your spells, your non-lethal is gone, what does party talk about at 7 in the morning? Alright, everybody, get in. Come here. I have some fucking crazy shit to tell you. <laughs> oh, I'm excited. Oh my god, what happened to you, Sandra? Uh... Oh, uh, well, you know. Yeah, Sandra I, yeah. wakes up. What, what design has she been drawn on her face? Uh, I mean... A full cat. <laughs> Wonderful. Like whiskers, little tiny nose. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, well, what, what do you mean? And she, like, looks at her. I, I don't know. I guess she'd explain the fucking marks from, uh, what, what's her name? 
from Necria. Oh, well, you know, I was on message duty yesterday. I may have thrown the messages in the water. Necria didn't take too kindly to that. Uh -oh. Yes. Okay, guys. I think Fish Guts is some kind of fucking god. I, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I'm not that knowledgeable. Maybe I should have rolled a check or two on his ass, but like, he's fucking. I think he's like wicked powerful, but he's like not letting it on. He knows all about the birthday party we're throwing and he doesn't care. <laughs> I knew it. And okay, but also, more importantly, I think he's planning his own birthday party that will probably be a bit more successful than our fucking rinky dink ass plan with Goblin together here. So I told him if he needs our support or help on anything, he can just ask. So I already signed you all up for that, but I figured, you know, we're kind of all on board for that. Ah, it's fine. I like fish guts. Okay, okay, so. I'm not mad about that part, but let's rewind to the part where you decide he's a god. <laughs> yeah, okay. I'm, I'm very curious <laughs> to this myself. I asked him if he was a god, and he said, so what if I am? Okay, then... so I'm, I'm going to throw this out there. If someone asks you if you are a god, the answer is always yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Listen, that might, be, that might have been a bit of hyperbole on my part, but... The dude is powerful, man, and I think he's playing it down because he's planning something big here. Well, if he's playing, playing something big, he's playing the long game. He's been on this ship for longer than this ship's been this ship. Yes, that is true. He did say something is happening soon, whether that is... He told me that we were acting maybe a bit too fast, but he is going to make his move one of these days hopefully sooner rather than later but it sounds like something is in the works for the near future i got something in the works uh okay that's interesting i love getting these things translated through through him <laughs> <laughs> like well if he's got something in the works i don't see the sense of coming up anyone else's master plans especially given yeah. how half half cocked ours was yeah Never i mean made a cake. <laughs> yeah we, we we made a bit of fish cakes last night though but that's a, that's a not the thing entirely listen i can ask him if he wants us to enact any of our plans if that's going to help him whether it be the whole forging a note or uh slipping this potion into a meal but he did seem pretty opposed to the whole idea of poisoning food because it just comes back on him he's got a good thing going where nobody really bothers him lets him do his own thing right that's right i don't think anyone would expect him to betray mazer yeah but no he uh i believe his words are Mazer is one of the most rotten people you will meet in this entire world, so I think he uh, uh, shares our sentiments. And he's probably listening to us right now. What's up, Fish Guts? How's <laughs> Fish Guts? No, <laughs> no response you can hear. Oh, I'll, I'll, I'll hail Fish Guts. Yeah, Amen. Uh, yeah. Guts. I'm glad you guys hey, went directly from Fish Guts' magical powers to Fish Guts is a god. This is just the best <laughs> logic. Adrian's well, gonna message uh, Fish Guts. Why? <laughs> All right. Okay, Does, so I just want the party to hears that. the bell <laughs> for <Yeah>. upstairs. <laughs> oh. Do they head up to the top deck? Yes. yes. All right, Indeed. cool. Party heads up to the top deck. Uh, you'll see everybody basically in line as Mr. Plug goes, Right then, no regular duties for today. Y'all are going to be doing some fucking learning. Sweet. And he kind of clears his throat and he says, Right then, I'm going to be handing things over to Riss over here. Rissa is our main boarder and our main gunner. Today is going to be gunning duties. Tomorrow is going to be boarding duties. Is that understood? Yes, sir. Wonderful. Rissa. And you're going to see this woman step up. 
Uh, she's got dark skin. She's got a bandana. She's got her hair tied into very tight ponytail. She's wearing a rough sailor's jacket. Though the way she walks in it, like, it, like, clanks. As if she was in, like, full plate, essentially. Even though it looks like a jacket. And occasionally you see her moving in a way that you can see, like, the underside of her shirt is, like, vanishingly, like... Like the ant, like on the outside, it's a shirt. On the underside of her shirt, it's like mithril links. So there, there is some definite magic going on with this woman. But she, uh, she says, right? Oh God, I cannot scream right now. <coughs> um, hold on, let me get some water before I roleplay this character. <laughs> And my computer is like heating up my room, and this fan is doing nothing to stop it. Oh no, none of it. Uh, I was lucky today. There's a big rainstorm, so I'm all cool. I just put your just put your entire desktop out in the rain. That'll cool it down. Yeah, I'm fucking (laughs) taking my pants off. Anywho, on the subject. (laughs) Nah, she uh, she steps up. Uh, she, I I could do this in character. I just I just I, my voice is not. She immediately begins yelling at you, uh, something along the tune of "Has anybody here ever actually been in a fight before? Or has anybody here ever actually operated a cannon before?" Uh, actually, no, I'll do that. I was like, right then, which one of you idiots have, have ever actually used this before? Do any of you at all have right any here. experience with naval artillery? Right here. Ma'am, no, ma'am. Oh, well, you're going to be fucking learning it today, then! And she starts, basically, uh... She, uh... Hold on, let me get a picture for you guys, actually. Uh, because this is actually something I know quite a bit about in... Oh, it's called in real life. No, don't ask how I learned this. Uh, she's going to pull out a whole bunch of tools... Uh, the first is going to be like a really long, met- a really long wooden dowel, and at the end, it's it's going to be like a big, it's like a corkscrew basically. At the end, uh, she is going to hand it. It's almost like a pike, but instead of there being like a weapon at the end, it's like this big metal corkscrew. Uh, she hands it to Adrian, and she says, "This is a worm. Do you know what this is for, sir?" Um, Adrian's, uh, past history, does he get to know what this is? Uh, does Adrian know anything about guns? Like the cannon or like a gun gun? Both. Has has, has your With character ever fired ever a gun? Have given him a gun? Uh, maybe, yeah. I'll, I'll, all right, I'll, I'll give you a first of these. I'll give you that one for free because you do have Navy experience. This is a worm. And this is basically a tool that you put in the end of a cannon and you use to clear out a bunch of the debris. Ah. That cleans the cannon. That it does! Do you know why we clean the cannon? Oh, I forgot that one in orientation. <laughs> when we fire the cannon, it makes a really big boom. We use this stuff called gunpowder. Gunpowder is flammable. When you make a big boom, what do you think that creates? An explosion. Explosion, correct. And what do explosions leave behind? Um, pain. What do they leave behind in the cannon, Sandra? Residue. Residue. Residue which could explode. Residue which could ignite. So if there's any residue that's still on fire left in the cannon after the explosion, what do you think's going to happen if we put more gunpowder in it? A boom. Precisely. And do we want the cannon to go boom while you're sticking your hand in there loading the cannon? 
depends on how much we like you. <laughs> she'll she'll kind of break character and laugh at that and say, "Yes, but assuming we want our artillery men to keep their their hands and their keep their hands together so they may continue loading the cannon." Presumably, we do not want the cannon to be going off while you are loading it. Aye, sir. Stick the wad in the end of the barrel. Fish it around a little. You want to get any little piece of debris in there at all? You've got it. All right. Uh, the next thing she does is she heads below deck. She comes out to the armory. She pulls out another tool, and she says, This is a sponge! And it's basically the same thing. It's like a wooden dowel. And then right at the end, it's like a big piece of like wet cloth. Uh, she's going to hand that to... She's going to hand that to Ven. She's going to say, this is a sponge. What do you think we use this for? More cleaning of the cannon? Precisely. Anything the wad doesn't grab, we want to get the sponge in there. We want to make absolutely sure this cannon is has completely clear debris. The cannon, the sponge is going to do that. I'm assuming you use the sponge to clean the cannon? Yep. Okay, yep. cool. Then what is the next step? Any guesses? Shoot the cannon at our enemies. All right, well, why don't you shoot it right now, sir? How would we shoot it right now? Okay, uh, you got me. I don't know. <laughs> you load it, you idiot. This... You gotta put the thing inside the cannon. You see one of the other people come up, one of them is holding a bag of gunpowder, the other one's holding a cannonball. Which of these do you think goes in first? The cannonball. Really? And if we put the, <laughs> the cannonball gunpowder. in, what's going to launch it? Well, we put the gunpowder in afterwards, right? So that we don't drop the cannonball into the gunpowder and smush it? or So then when you light the <laughs> the explosion, the, the cannonball flies out the backside of the cannon into you? That would hit idea. You. Let's let you load the cannons. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. I'm yeah, glad I at least one some... person here understands cannon things. Yes, the gunpowder goes in first. That creates a wad at the back end of it. That's what we insert the match into, followed by the cannonball. This is a load of gunpowder. She hands it to Caden. Put it in the end of the cannon. All right. All right, stuff it in there. All right. You get, like, you start stuffing in, but... How how long is uh how long is uh, Jean's arms? Uh, like four. Feet? All right, you Three get feet? like four, maybe five feet into the cannon. At which point she says, "Now take that screw dowel, and you notice the other end of it is made of wood. That is called a ramrod. So we use the other end of the screw dowel to push the ca to push the get to push the gunpowder all the way to the end of the end of the cannon." So that way, all, the right. gun, all of the powder of the gun is at the far end of the cannon. That is called ramming. It's the exact same process you use with a pistol or a musket. You need to ram all of the gunpowder home. I'm assuming you do this? Okay, I do that. Alright, cool. Next comes the cannonball. I'm assuming I do not need to instruct you on how to load a cannonball into a cannon. Uh, no. Wonderful. You, what's it called? You grab the cannonball. You load roll it in, the it in there. Yeah, it rolls right in there. It makes a little thoop, soft sound as it hits the end of the gunpowder. And she says, what is the next step? Can anyone tell me? I'm not talking again. <laughs> How about you then? She points at Ven. What will hey. be our next step? Aim. Yes. We shall take our gun. We shall aim it towards our target. Uh, point it direct. Point it directly facing outward. We're going to be aiming it towards the water today. But assuming there was a ship out there, we would be aiming it towards the ship. Next. All next right. step. Yeah. Uh. Light the cannon. What are we lighting, sir? Do you see a match the... that has already been inserted into the cannon? I thought that we oh. had the, the thing sticking out the back already, no? 
Uh, no, this, my good sir, and she pulls out, like, a small piece of, like, bronze wire. This is what's called a slow match. One end of this is a little bit of a pin prick. We take this pin prick, and we prick it into the gunpowder at the back here. This is a piece of straw, and it's filled with gunpowder. But I light one end of this, it will slowly go down the gunpowder and ignite the charge. She takes it. She sticks it in the far side of it, and you see, like, a little pinprick sticking out of the end of the cannon. And then she says, Now we fire the cannon. Who would like to do the honors? Well, I mean, I would like to, but I feel like I've made a fool of myself. Adrian, so. <laughs> Adrian pushes everyone out of the way. <laughs> Adrian pushes everybody eye. out of the way. All right, here's a match, good sir. Click, 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 click. All right, let me let oh, me get my... you a picture of this tool she hands you because it is a uh, line. It's called. Uh... No, don't ask me how I know all this much about cannons. It's complicated. Uh, she hands you a line stock, basically. Uh, let me get you a. Where's a good picture of a line stock? Uh, do, do. Is that the like circular metal with the, the little stick? Uh, it's basically it's a little stick, and it's like a Y-shaped stick, and there's like a bit of a match. Like it's basically another slow match. It's like wrapped around it, and then at the far end of it, you see like a little bit of a match. And she says, hold on to the far side of it, then take that little butch there, and then you want to insert the match so it lights the other latch. And stay far away from the cannon as you do so. Ah. Alright, I'm assuming you do that. Oh yeah. Alright. You put you touch the match to the other match. You hear you hear a little tsh -tsh sound as it happens. The small match is going. You see Rita just take her thumbs and put them in her ears. Do any of you follow her lead? I do the same. <laughs> okay. <laughs> At which point you hear a massive booming sound is like the cannon itself like rocks backwards and really the only thing preventing the cannon itself from like rocking backwards and like knocking adrian himself overboard is like a big thing a thick rope attached to the far side of the cannon which like catches the cannon as it moves back and it's just this thunderingly loud boom as the cannonball shoots at almost like a hundred miles per hour at the end of the cannon and just goes plop into the water on the far side and it just makes a gigantic splash in the water. Yeah! That is a cannon drill. We're going to be doing 50 more of those today and you all are going to be learning this. Alrighty. Now... Uh, it's called, at which point you see her, uh, just her smile kind of disappear. Uh, she reaches into her back and she said, and she pulls out her whip and she says, right then you have two minutes. Load this cannon. 129, 119, 118. What do you guys do? 117. Yeah, I'm, sorry. I'm going to start getting coordination going. So get Adrian, grab the worm. Um, mm -hmm. I will go ahead and grab the sponge. Adrian, start cleaning out the cannon. I'm gonna start. Um, I'm gonna be ready to get the sponge in once he does that. Um, you go grab some gum powder. I say to Jean, and to Sandra, I say uh, grab a cannonball, and then okay. basically kind of go 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 through that, organizing it and getting it going through the directions we we had gone through. Interesting. All right, you guys all start following Le Ben's lead. Yo, yeah, he knows what he's doing. Apparently. <laughs> all righty, cool. Re repeat back to me the steps then. What do you guys do? <laughs> if Ven was the one paying attention. I I may what? have gone to the bathroom. Well, All right, so, what do you command so everyone we... to do in what order? Yeah, so start off with the worm, follow up with the sponge so it's all nice and clean in there. Um, then we are putting in the gunpowder, using the opposite side of the worm to uh, jam it in, put the 
uh, cannonball mm -hmm. in, get the little uh, mat match thingy stuck into the gunpowder, and then the lighter thing stepping back so that it doesn't come back at, and uh, lighting that after aiming it to the appropriate direction. Kaboom! Riza is genuinely shocked that you guys, uh, what's called it, the speed which you guys load the cannon, and honestly, I'm kind of shocked you guys got all of that out of character. Have a hero point, Ven. Congrats. I was not actually <laughs> expecting you to remember all those steps. Alrighty. That is what it takes the day. The party is definitely, uh, called, you definitely see, uh, you see Necria just kind of watching you guys do this, and you, and as you guys like go through the drills of like how to load a cannon, how everything works, and you see like Riza just kind of talking to Necria. She kind of points at Ven, and Necria just kind of nods like in a positive affirmation towards Ven, which is sort of rare. And uh, as for everyone else, everyone else gets exotic weapon proficiency siege weapons for free as a result of participating nice. in this drill as a free nice. feat. So everybody on this ship now know how to do naval siege weapons. Uh, which means when you guys start firing cannons of your own, you won't be taking a minus four penalty. Unfortunately, this drill uh, does take up the vast majority of the day. So we get to the end of day 15 rather quickly. Or day 14, sorry. Cool. What does the party do after uh, being thrown through the drills? Mostly by Rissa, but honestly, Ven seems to be the one taking like the leadership role, which uh, you guys generally do not see from him, as he is mostly an intellectual. Nice. Uh, how does the party react at the end of the drills? And what do they do for their nighttime actions? Uh, you can see Sam just taking this pretty seriously. She's uh, excited, or it looks like she's looking forward to some action after a while of none. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, Jean shares that sentiment. Fuck yeah, I can't wait to pop some heads. Now that I actually know how the cannon works, I'm ready. Mm -hmm. I do hope we'll be boarding, though. That sounds more... I feel uh, like it's a two-step process, right? We right. cannon, then we board. Yeah, we can there mast. Right, right. I'm still not the most excited to be taking ships under Mazer's command. I've seen oh. how those how ships that he takes and it's not pretty. I didn't consider that. Yeah. Yeah, sorry to be the downer on that parade, but uh, I am not particularly excited about about action, even though, honestly, some sort of action is going to be our best chance of moving forward in this. I assume he'd take it over without us anyway. Right, it's not like we are integral to his success in any way. Oh, you made a pretty good impression there, Finn. I don't know. I'm going to count yourself out. <laughs> All right, he well, he did was action. remember the steps. Made sure you locked it and messed it up too badly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, any major ship actions tonight? You guys just want to skip straight to the boarding training? Uh, I think I want to skip. All right, cool. Yeah, I'm good to get, get some rest after that. Yep. All right, party gets uh, party all gets an early night, go to bed, wake up the next morning, day fifteen. Again, I'm sorry if I'm speeding through these days. I just I, I figure you guys are bored of just sitting around as well. So yeah. Yeah. day oh, fifteen. Yeah. But, uh, I'm sorry, you guys have just been doing so much role playing. I haven't been able to force you guys down the plot. <laughs> uh, day fifteen. Uh, Say again? Sorry, I'm, I'm just going to go to the bathroom real quick, but you can begin the description. All right, cool. Day 15, boarding training. So again, Riza yells at you guys again about how to board, how to many ways to board an enemy ship. Generally, when two ships... Generally, boarding is not... She'll basically say blah, blah, blah. 
you know, I'm, I'm paraphrasing here, obviously, but there are multiple ways to get aboard an enemy ship. There's uh, the classic pirate way, which is just grabbing the rigging and, like, swinging across. This is essentially an acrobatics check with a bonus. Uh, there's usually uh, boarding planks. Uh, there are many boarding planks, especially when ships come across, like, right next to each other, and ships will generally drop boarding planks, and... Uh, this is where the famous walk the plank sort of expression comes across, which is sometimes you're walking people into water, yeah, but generally you're walking a plank across to an enemy ship in order to board it. Uh, she has explained she has seen people teleporting aboard enemy ships as well, but politely asks everybody who has magical powers aboard the ship to report them to their captain. But uh, she explains that, of course... Anybody, we don't think we have any spellcasters aboard this ship right now, so none of you be needing to do any of that. Yeah. And finally, there is the classical grappling hook. This ah. is a hook on one end. It's attached by a piece of rope. Have any of you used any of this before? No, ma'am. <laughs> Alrighty, good. Then you're learning today. You're going to be taking this grappling hook, you're going to be getting in the water, swimming a good 50 feet out of there, and while you're in the water, you're going to be swimming back towards the wormwood while you're in the water, be taking the grappling hook, throwing it up and trying to catch it on this railing right here. And you're going to be trying to climb back up onto the wormwood as you'll be doing so. Meanwhile, Let's no more. me, Jack, me, Jack, uh, What's your name, uh, Roy Mustang? You're coming over here as well, and, uh... Fuck it, you as well, Adrian. You get over here as well. While Ven's be doing this, take this. Aha. And she just kind of, ha- she just starts, like, handing you, like, random items aboard the ship. Like, she hands you, like, a box of nails. She hands you, like, rotting food. She hands you, like, a big old cannonball. And just start chucking shit at him. Because when you're boarding in an enemy ship... You're not going to be doing any of this. And everybody's going to be going through this exercise until everyone's able to get aboard the ship. Understood? Yes, ma'am. All right, cool. So she basically runs the rest of you guys through this sort of exercise. Uh, Basically, this is a ranged attack roll. It is minus four, assuming you are not proficient in uh, grappling hooks. Basically, hit the rail. Uh, Everybody, one at a time, basically. Uh, yeah, San- Sandra does her exercise completely fine. You're able to, like, grab the rope. Basically, it's when you're throwing an object, it's generally you throw it a foot per, uh, what's it called? It's, it's basically minus two for every ten feet further. So with a 14, you're able to throw it, like, a good, like, 30 feet or so. Adrian's even better. You easily get a hook onto that, and you're able to climb back up. Jean, you're fine. And then you're also fine. Yeah, so all of you guys basically passed the aborting exercise, no problem. And she said, what's it called? Uh, uh, oh, shit, actually, if you guys passed the boarding exercise first time, you guys get to keep the grappling hooks, actually. Nice. Nice. <laughs> but he nice. gets a grappling hook get... and rope. Make sure oh, you Kevin. use those when we be getting some action. Mazer B. Kevin. Yes. Is this count as a weapon? And can uh, I use it as a ranged attack? Yes, and also yes. Uh, it is an exotic weapon, so you'll be taking minus four to hit unless you take exotic weapon proficiency grappling hooks, though. But did we not ah, just fuck. get exotic weapon proficiency? Uh, you did not get proficiency, but you did get a grappling hook. We got, oh, proficiency we, for we got siege naval weapons. siege weapons, okay. I mean, if you'd prefer grappling hooks over siege weapons, I'd be willing to give you grappling hook proficiency or siege weapons proficiency, depending on which exercise you guys pay more attention to. Nah, you only get one free feed, though. Be more useful. Yeah, it, it is just a regular mean. grappling hook. What do y'all think? Y'all think I should take the fucking grappling hook thing? Uh, I mean, if you really want to get over here on people. If you if you'd rather if you'd rather proficiency in grappling hooks over siege weapons, I'll give you grappling hook proficiency over siege weapon proficiency. You only get one though. You gonna be throwing a grappling hook at people, or are you gonna be firing cannons at people? Fuck! I honestly don't know. 
Uh, well, you rolled an 18 on this check, and you weren't really good on the on the siege engine check. So if you want grappling hook proficiency, sure. No, yeah, fuck it, I'll take it. All right, cool. You get exotic weapon proficiency, grappling hooks instead of siege weapon proficiency. Nah. So Adrian really wasn't really paying attention during the cannon drill. All right. And again, you see, uh, what's it called? You see Riza definitely watching Ven as he does so. Uh, Ven didn't really do all that well, at least compared to the rest of you guys, but he did definitely still succeed. And you see her giving, uh, just kind of walking over to Necria, <sighs> kind of whispering something in her ear as Ven's coming up. Necria just also, kind of I may not down. have done great on the throw. But I would have been pretty pretty solid with the swimming and the climbing. Absolutely, that's a call. You you have a natural swim speed, so you are doing amazing. So again, you see Rissa just kind of whispering something to Necria about that. And uh, did you do all right. So that's day fifteen. Anyone do anything at night? Uh, I might try and mend some uh, breaches with Aretta. Right, well, you want to go talk to Aretta? Sure. I'll go say what's up to Aretta. All right, you will find her. It's called. You'll find Aretta just kind of. Uh, uh you you'll you'll see Aretta actually. Uh, hmm. Let me let me think about this. Uh, you'll see you'll see Aretta just kind of in the middle of an argument with Cocky. Basically, you see like the two of them. They're up above deck at the end of the night. Uh, they're over by, like, one of the cannons. You just hear them, like, yelling at each other. Like, it's just like, no, I'm not telling you that. No, you're, you're stupid. And you just see, like, not like weapon. Like, they both have cutlasses, but neither of them are drawing their cutlasses. They're just kind of shoving each other, basically. And you ladies, hear them just, ladies, like, yelling. you're both beautiful. I know, that's <laughs> what I was telling her. Bitch, I don't care about you. You're just Mazer's whore. If you, if I was still Mazer's whore, I'd still be in there. It's not my fault he dumped me for you. Well, he dumped me as well. And basically... Uh, it seems like you guys have some, some comic ground to get along on here. I personally find you to be both exquisite beauties of the piracy world. She, uh, cocky looks at you, just like, Aretta here is unhappy that Mazer dumped her for me. And then he dumped you, and now we haven't seen him in, like, anywhere between two weeks. So as far as I'm concerned, he doesn't care about any of you there. As far as I'm aware, he's fucking Necro. Oh, oh, absolutely not. Blah, 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 blah. And it's just, like, TMZ-level, like, tomfoolery, basically. As mm. the, they just immediately so... start saying, like, oh, who, who is Necro doing... What's it called? What's Mazer doing behind their back? Why haven't we seen him for a while? Oh, she must think I'm ugly. Well, I'm more ugly than you, bitch. Blah, or I'm more beautiful than you, bitch. Blah, blah, blah. They, they, okay. th these two do not seem to be getting along. Well, listen. I've said my piece. I feel like I've maybe uh, come into this conversation at a bad time. Okay, this, my... this is nothing against you, John. It's just... You don't... And Aretta just kind of face palms like, don't try it on him, Cocky. He's he's a man. He wouldn't understand. I, I think he can understand, Aretta, if you can understand. Do you know what it's like to be grabbed, to be used and abused, and then just thrown away like you were nothing? No. Not, I think, in the sense that you two have felt, I have died before. You've, um, you've what? That's going to change the conversation tone. Yep, I perished and I was reborn, hence my beautiful bluish hue that I'm rocking now. I'm not even technically a person. You, you what? You, you're you dead? You're, you're a zombie? Not quite. By the blessing of Bismara herself, I have been given a second life to engage in piracy once more. But how... Well, if Bismarck bless you, you see. And what's it called, Aretta? Just kind of say a bit sarcastically. How the hell did you end up on this ship? <laughs> well, you know, her blessings only extend so far. She's a bit of a uh, hands off deity. That is definitely something I'm going to agree with. The only thing that I've ever sense. seen from Bismarck is her shitting on us. We haven't seen a ship in like three weeks. <laughs> Uh, well, with the with the training we just underwent, I feel like we might, you know, something might be cooking up over with the officers. I feel like we may have a target. 
Uh, cooking up is right, you see a Reddit just kind of say. Have you any idea what they're saying about you two? You, about, you blue man group? Uh, probably good things. Oh, uh, yeah, definitely. Uh, well, pretty was, tell. You, you really want me to tell you what Jape's been calling you behind his behind your back? Well, Jape's a fucking idiot. I don't care what he thinks. Ah, uh, idiot is not the word he was using for you. Yeah, it's fine by me. We kicked his ass once. If he wants to say that to our faces, you I'm sure we can You kicked my ass, if you didn't remember. Thank you very much. Yeah. But listen, you blasted, I mean, you're running you, you with blasted the me in, in the face, and I couldn't see well for like two days afterwards. Whatever mm. fucking magic you guys used. I haven't forgotten that, thank you very much. And you okay. guys never apologized for that either. Well, in that case, take this as my formal and sincere apology. Uh, we, I don't personally have a problem with you. I have a problem with Jape because he's a fucking moron. And listen, you wouldn't have got involved with that if you weren't running with that dude. The only reason I'm running with Jape is because Jape has an in with Necria. And Necria fucking hates you guys. I think I've said that before. She doesn't like you, New Blood. The reason you guys got recruited is because Mazer wanted to replace Kenway and that other guy. And honestly, I don't think we should have been recruiting in Port Peril at all. We should have been going down to Blood Cove or somewhere less popular with, like, regular pirates, not, like, the freak show we picked up, no offense. And so hey, Necria is now I'm mad. Right and you know what Necria does when she's mad? She whips random people. And I'm sorry, I don't like my ass getting whipped. So yes, I do have to, you know... I do have to, you know, hold my hold my ass in, and you know, I have to do what someone says sometimes because that's how you prevent your ass from getting whipped. Okay, I understand that. I do have a problem with you calling us a bunch of freak shows. Have you not seen our performance as of late? We rocked that cannon activity. We rocked yes. the grappling hook activity. Yes, you did. We flex on a bunch of murlocs. Yes, yes, you did. And do you want to know what Necri is saying about that? She's fucking angry at you guys. You guys are supposed to fucking die. Mazer didn't want the fucking Murlocs to eat. That was all Necria. She just saw we were passing by a Murloc nest and fucking sent you guys out there because Mazer knows Murlocs fucking attack people. He took the food you cost and he threw it out the fucking window. That's mm. what Mazer thinks about your Murloc food. That was all Necria trying to kill you guys. Well, you know, I feel like she, she'll come around. She'll see that we're competent, especially in the next battle, I think. I... I wouldn't put that past her. Necria... Do you, know, do you want to know what Necria is a cleric of? Ooh, I would, actually. Have you ever heard of a religion called Ergothoa? No, I have not. The the unholy symbol she wears around her neck is of this church called Ergothoa. They aren't super common around these parts. But Ergothoa means one thing, and means one thing only. It means necromancy. Necria would like nothing more than to take all of us, murder all of us, and raise all of us as mindless skeletons who just obey what she commands. That would make this ship so much easier for her. That means we, she wouldn't have to feed anybody. That means she wouldn't have to talk to anyone. That means no one would ever give her back talk. And the only reason she hasn't been doing that is because Chape is sucking her dick. Metaphorically, of course. Now do you understand why I want to be in her good books? Because I don't want to be a skeleton. Yeah, you know, I can I can understand that. I feel like we've got off topic, Aretta. I came over here to try and mend some bridges. I don't want to be beefing with you. I, think I you're don't want to cool beef person. with you either, but I'm just saying, do you understand where I'm coming from? I, I can understand where you're coming from. That doesn't change my opinion on Jabe. I still think he's a moron, but I can understand your desires to not get your ass killed by Necria. And I'm doing the same thing, but in my own way. You know, we... We're all out here to survive, and we've survived everything Necria's thrown at us so far, because as of right now, 
I don't think she can just outright kill us, right? Like, we are doing our jobs. Her? What's stopping her? You think Nekria gives a shit? Yeah, that's true, but why hasn't she killed us already, then? I don't know, and I'm kind of scared to think about it. Yeah. Okay, Rita. Well, listen. Uh, I won't... If you've got I harbor way... no ill will towards you if you have no ill will towards me. I will... If you're asking me to swap teams, I'm willing to swap teams, but I only ask for one thing. Tell me how the fuck you can prevent me from getting turned into a skeleton. If so, I'm all yours. Uh... Well, the only thing I mean, I've heard from your team is starting shit with Necria. And that's not going to go well for you. I have seen her yeah. do things to a man that I don't want to talk about. Okay, fair enough. Well, listen, if I think of something, uh, you'll be the first person I tell, okay? Well, make it quick then, please. Because I All don't right, want to be yeah. sitting on the fence here. Understandable. Understandable. All right, cool. Roll me a diplomacy check. All right, she's officially indifferent towards you. She is no longer unfriendly or hostile. Right. Sweet. You have officially put Aretta on the fence. All right, cocky. See you around. All right. right. Good night. Cool. All right. Uh, anybody else want to take a night nighttime action? No. No, I'm cool. good. Cool. Everybody goes to bed. Everybody resets all your hit points and the spells per day and all that jazz. Everybody wakes up. We are now on day 17, I believe. Uh, yes. All right, cool. Um, up to me. Day 17. Party day. What's it called? Uh, party wakes up. Party gets ready to doing all of their stuff. You see uh, Necria herself uh, just kind of frowning a little bit as she does so. That's pretty normal. Mr. Plug's just kind of standing next to her. And as you guys come aboard deck, uh, she you see Mr. Plug just kind of whisper something to Necria. And Necria just kind of nods at that. And Mr. Plug looks at you guys and is like, Ven! Hi. Bilges. I vile and sweaty work it is. Get down there. Uh. So I guess you're getting signed to the Vilches today. This is I like a... you didn't even roll this time. It's just yeah, like you're doing just to fight me at this. He's point. doing it just to fight you. <laughs> this is a strength check. How would you like to do this? I would like to find another uh, swab who wants to swap with me. All right, cool. You're shirking. What would you rather be doing today? No, like straight up, see if I can swap 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 roles with them, so I can do a different job while they're doing the bilges. Hey, any does anyone offer to do the bilges for them? Or yeah, man? sure. I'll swap with you. All right. Hey, uh, will pretend he doesn't hear him. All right, cool. Sandra, you're on bilges. How are you working today? Let's see. Let me pull up this thing again. All right. What was the job Sandra hated? Uh, Sandra's getting assigned runner, then. <laughs> so, Ven, I guess you're running today. I can do running. Alright. That's acrobatics and fort? Ac acrobatics, then fort save. You work diligently for plus four? Never mind. Yeah, you're fine. Sandra's strength check. Her bilges. Uh, I'm, gonna work, I'm gonna work hard on it. Cool. Never mind. You're, you're fine for the day. Uh, as for uh, this is what I'm good at. As for uh, it's Sandra, it's uh, as for Jean. Uh, what was something Jean hated to do? Uh, what's, something, <laughs> what's something you're really bad at? You're rat catching today. Fucking yeah, catch more right. rats. Okay, what's that? Dex? Uh, strength, or stealth, survival, or dex. Stealth, survival, or dex. Survival? Alright. Alright, cool. That's uh, a call. You failed to catch enough rats, unless you're working diligently. 
Uh, I mean, I'll work diligently. Cool. I All didn't right. really have an action planned for today. All right. You work diligently. Uh, at, at the end of it, you see Necro just whip you at once anyway. Hey, didn't catch enough fucking rats. Take one non-lethal. As for the, uh... What's it called? As for Fish Guts. Uh, Fish Guts I'm actually still gonna roll for. Uh... Uh, hey... Ooh. Oh, where'd you guys all go? Why can't I see you guys in roll 20 anymore? Uh... We can't see you. That's weird. That's not good. I mean, reload rolls there, there you are. There you are. Welcome back. Oh, there, there's everybody. Okay, that, that was weird for a second. Alright, uh, Cook's Mate. Uh, it's a call. John, uh, you see uh, Fish Guts come up to us like, we got turtles to hunt. Okay. Is that another survival? Uh, survival or Fisherman? Uh, survival it is. Okay. Cool. What would you rather be doing today? Because you make a check. You spend the day hunting fish guts with turtles. Do you want to keep talking to fish guts, or...? Um, I was already working diligently from the previous check, so does oh, that okay. carry over? Uh... Wait, John... No, that was, uh... Shit, hold on. No. Uh... Oh, shit, did I, did I assign you a... I'm sorry, I, I missed everybody. All right, I did... Then was Bilge's... Then monkey. No, Adrian. Adrian was who I skipped. I'm sorry. I, I assigned you a swab task by mistake. Oh, in that case, I mean, I'll still work diligently. Uh, you know what? Fucking, I'll, I'll make that in character. Fucking Necro forgot about Adrian today. <laughs> All right, Necro Adrian. just forgot you were the cook's assistant and gave you the rat catching duty, and you're like, fuck it, why not? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, cool. Yeah, Fish, Fish Guts is, is uh, sober enough to do the turtle on himself. So, cool, Adrian, you got a free day. What would you like to do today? You just got forgotten about. Oh, wow. That is, uh, why do I feel more relaxed today? <laughs> you just want to chill the whole night? You can uh, go shopping, you can go walking around the ship, you can loot something. I'll, uh... I don't think I need to do the RP unless you want me to do the RP. I want to go to Leviticus right, and basically okay. tell him to basically uh, stealthily wherever where might he be actually. Ah, uh, you'll see he's uh, doing a bit of rope work. He's like ta he's like uh, you see him like he's basically on the main part of the deck and he's like unrolling part of the sails. Okay, yeah, he's gonna. Adrian's basically just gonna tell him um, that something might happen at some point, and to be ready. Uh, he kind of winks at you, and he kind of flashes a light mace underneath his pants. Oh ho ho! Alright, but uh, he doesn't say anything, <laughs> but you'll see that he is armed. Nice. Uh Anything else you want to do, Adrian, or just take the day off, basically? Uh, how many people do you think I could give like a heads up to for the time? Ah, uh, if you if you want to, uh, I'll. You guys are in with like uh, you guys have a few like good good friends like Leviticus, uh, Fish Guts, Cocky, uh, Roy, uh, Shiva. If you want to take one of your existing friendships and try to like upgrade them to like Battle Forge comrades, you're more than welcome to. Is Leviticus not a Battle Forge? Yeah, uh, Leviticus combat? is on that list. Okay, uh, yeah. who is not? Roy uh, Mustang, where is he at with me? Uh, you've talked to Roy Mustang, you gave him like a picture and all that, he's been, uh, <laughs> you told him about this amazing anime and he's just started reading manga, you're not quite sure where he's gotten it from. <laughs> uh, but he's relatively friendly with you, but if you'd like to upgrade him to... Already fellow birthday party attendee that would be a diplomacy check all right where are you at there you are unfortunately he's just too absorbed but... in the comic book you guys got him into 
Okay. It's like, man, you seen you seen the shit they're like doing? They're like transmuting. Like this guy tried to transmute his mother into like a robot suit. It's crazy. I I don't actually know anything about Full Metal Alchemist. (laughs) Honestly, fairly close. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) All right. Anywho, day ends. Night starts. You have a feeling you guys just got assigned your jobs just specifically to spite you. You guys want to do anything at night? Um, Jean is going to start doing, because we're catching some heat, I think every morning I'm just going to hit everybody with a guidance to start our day. Everybody just gets a guidance. Alright, cool. Everyone make a note of that. Yeah. So just Guidance only lasts one. like a minute, mind you. Never mind. Like, oh. you can still do it, but it only lasts like a minute. <laughs> Just a little pep talk. Here's some guidance. Slap on the butt. Guidance. 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 Have a good day. Anybody do anything at night? Anyone to do any more gambling? I'll do a little bit of gambling. Alright. But I'm willing to keep nice. it to low stakes. Uh, don't need to heavily role play it out if you want to do just a quick roll for small stakes. Yeah, I, I get you guys are getting bored with the, this this face of the story. Cool, roll me roll me a D twenty. Cool, you neither gain nor lose anything. Sounds reasonable to me. Wait. Anybody else want to do anything? Yeah, I'll company Vin. I'll, I'll I'll do some low stakes. Alright, roll me a straight D twenty. Fuck it right. Alright, you what make a, yourself what ten. A waste of a net twenty. <laughs> you make ten gold <laughs> off of uh you make ten gold off of fucking Shiva or something. Oh, Shivika. All right, whatever. It's you make friendly. it. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'll get you back one day, Shivika. Good try. All right, day 18. Uh, as you guys, uh, unless anyone else wants to do anything. Nah. All right, uh, day 18. Nothing comes to mind. Wait, say, say again? Nothing comes to mind. All right. Day 18. You guys walk up. You guys start getting assigned tasks. Necro just kind of walks up behind Ven and just kind of taps him on the shoulder. Ven? Hi, mistress. I <laughs> didn't see you in the bilges yesterday. Bilges got done, didn't they? I must have been there. I heard a rumor My that you God had Shiva down there instead of yours. That rumor That's wouldn't happen. Rumor. To be, that rumor wouldn't happen to be true, would it? Can't say that I saw her down there. Mm. Roll me a bluff check. Guy who has no charisma. Hey, that's not even a bluff. I did not see her down there. Yes, but she's... 16. All right. All right. Well, in that case, you wouldn't mind going down to the bilges right now and getting bilgeon. It's it's a bit so wet down there, after all. I think we may... uh, Scraped a rock or two, so you're gonna need some help. All right, who do I get to bring with me? Well, before we decide on that, and she just kind of steps in front of you, and how how tall is Ven? Uh, he is about five eight. All right, so Necria just kind of steps like uncomfortably close to you, and she's like she's like six foot tall, so she just kind of leans over you, is like. You wouldn't happen to be carrying any weapons on you, now would you? Because that would be... That's not allowed. I mean, not on me, of course. I was given my gear back by you, as I recall. Aye, but you're not carrying any weapons on you now, are you? I raise my hands. You're keeping those in your locker, yeah? Of course. Alright. You see her just start to search you. Are you currently carrying any weapons? And it would be a 14 because I've got a plus two for my outfit for height, for concealing. That is a good point. Let me grab her perception bonus. It's probably going to be massive. Uh, I actually have a character sheet for her, so let me go check. Did she put any skill points perception? Uh, no, but she does have an 18 in Wisdom. Uh, let me see if I can oppose that. 
Damn, okay. Oh, oh roll, direct tie. Roll off, roll off. What is this now? Actually, no, 14. Oh my god, yeah, that's exactly 14. Who wins an opposed check and sleight of hand? That's really important right now. Roll off, roll off. Uh, well, his bonus is bigger than her bonus, isn't it? Uh, sleight of hand tie. Uh, is it defender wins? Oh my god, it's defender wins. Oh my god, she does not find your weapon. Nice. That's funny. Alrighty. Well, I'm glad you're not carrying any illegal weapons on you, because I need you to be bilging right now. And I'm sending Jape and Fitz down there and you. They got good muscles on them. You guys will be good Ooh. down there. And she just kind of continues just leering at you. You'll be heading down to the bilges now, then. Does anyone else see this? Oh, absolutely. Like, it's very clear she's bullying them. Hi, Mr. Alright, does Ven head down to the bilges? Yep. Alright, you see Necria just kind of following you the whole way. Rest of party, do you guys react at all to this? Uh, uh, have I gotten my book. job yet? Uh, no, this is the first thing that happens. Um... I'm going to wait for her to get me my job, and then I'm going to rush down there. All right. <laughs> yeah, uh, Jean is going to be like, I think I heard fish guts calling me, and also follow from a safe distance. All right. You see, uh, you see Necria basically almost forcibly lead Ven down into the bilges. You see Japes walk down there. You see Phipps lock down there. You see Necria just kind of looking at the bilges. You see her, like, reach down... Like, she pulls something out of her pocket, and she just kind of puts it on the trap door, and it starts glowing. She stands up, looks at you guys. Right then, we need more riggers. Need you two up on the main sail today, right? We lost the monkey, so we need someone up there raising and lowering the sails. Two of you up, in the, up on the main mast, eh? I'm sorry, didn't you say that the bilges were very full today? I wouldn't mind, uh... Give it a hand. Fish got said I could have a free day. Fish got said you had a free day. Yep. Sounds like we need to go. Let's. That, sounds like Fish Guts needs to learn his place. You come with me. You up there into the mainsail. Oh, yep. Got it. Oh, huh. Uh, okay. And she, um. Yep. Right after you. Let me just, uh, get put my uh stuff in my locker real quick. Go do that. Mm-hmm. All right, I'm assuming you do not actually go up to the main sale. Absolutely not. <laughs> okay, cool. Roll me a stealth check. Uh, yeah, she'll, she'll walk around the boxes, try and use them to her advantage. But I'll give you a plus two a on your stealth. Gel, so there it is. Oh, oh, my God. All right, hold on. One of those days. <laughs> All right. So, hold on, let, let me resolve this in order. So, she's she's carrying she's carrying Jean up to you. She then sees Sandra. Actually, hold on, let me roll perception for her so she doesn't... I don't think she can fail a two. Oh, please, she not gets, one. She gets a 22. Oh, God. She's like, where the fuck are you going, Sandra? Ever oh, since Monkey it. died, we haven't had someone on the mainsail. Get up there before I beat your ass. Well, of course. All right, and she starts... Uh, where where are we right now? I assume you guys are like, like down and like on Fish Guts' level, and she's like dragging John over to Fish Guts. She's just, she's just kind of staring at Sandra up the stairs. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, and she'll go up. Uh, wait to hear arguing, and then go back. Down. <laughs> okay, cool. All right, so you wait to hear arguing. Necria then drags Jan over to Fish Guts, and is like, Fish Guts. What are you talking about? You said you could you could have her for I said no such thing. We haven't actually gotten it. At which point Necria and Fishguts start arguing. Meanwhile, uh <laughs> then <laughs> pretty much immediately, <laughs> as soon as you guys as soon as you got down to the bilges, you just hear like a latch and like a magical like a magical like bling go on. And as soon as you're down in the bilges, you just see Phipps down there. And Jape down there, and they're both looking at you, and they're both smiling. Well, hello, friends. I think that we're not not getting any work done here in the villages today. Jape smiles, pulls out a 
fairly fancy looking new masterwork knife. Nope. Nope, we're not. Roll initiative. Oh, so we're putting out the weapons right away. <laughs> well, James oh, right. is. I'm assuming <laughs> up to you if you want to. I mean, I was willing to play it non-lethal, but if he's going to draw, draw that round one, then you bet your ass on pick, taking my right Kevin. out. Hello. Was Adrian ignored again? Uh, shit. Oh, my God. I'm so sorry. I keep... I'm no, so no, sorry, like, Adrian. Did Necria forget about Adrian? You know what? I feel bad about ignoring you twice, so yes, I'm going to say Necria forgot about you again. I'm sorry. Would you like me to add you to this initiative? I'm so sorry, Adrian. I'm reading everyone in Roll20 from, like, left to right. I'm I'm really sorry, man. I I do not intentionally do this. It kind of works out better for us this way, anyway. I'm so Hello. sorry. Your character is memorable. I I swear, your character is memorable. I'm just <laughs> an a, ass. I'm just okay. a terrible dungeon master. If I can catch him on the way down, can I hit him with a guidance? Sure, you can hit Adrian with a guidance. Awesome. Fuck. Oh boy. Alrighty. Uh, Alright, so yeah, so basically Ven is what's it called? Ven is currently fighting uh, Sander is crawling up towards the mainsail Jean is watching Fish Guts and Necria have a giant argument Adrian forgot to is just getting out of bed in the morning he's like, hey, did they forget about me? At which point you hear from like the trap door below you, nope, we're not getting any work done today uh, he hasn't actually stabbed you, but he has pulled out a very fancy-looking knife. Uh, Ven, uh, how do you respond? He's like, we're not getting any work done today, boy. You know exactly what's happening now. I will pull out my rapier and say, are you sure you want to do this? Is that an intimidate check? We'll go with yes, despite me not being particularly intimidating. I mean, you can roll it if you want to roll it. Oh, damn. All right, Japes is visibly shaken by that. Uh, he is shaken for a round at that. He's like, oh, where the hell did you get that? Does Ven respond? Uh, you know, here and there. Necro says you weren't supposed to have any weapons. Hey, neither were you. It's part of the ship rules. Well, but let's make sure we take that away from you. And Phipps is going to attempt, or uh, Phipps is going to attempt to disarm on you. Uh, this will provoke if you'd like to take a stab at him. I would like to take a stab at him. Thank you. Uh, is this a lethal stab? You bet. Oh Damn. boy! Damn. Okay, you Joke stab theory. him directly through the chest. Uh, he keeps going, however, as he is a big fucking guy. He just kind of staggers forward. You, like, impale him through the chest, and he, like, tries to grab at your rapier 10 versus CMD. That ain't gonna do it. Alright. Motherfucker, you hit fifths! You have any idea what Necri is gonna do to you when she finds out about this? I'm going to be taking that shit from your corpse. And he's going to attempt a sneak attack on you. So he is feared, so that's minus two. But he is plus two from a flanking. So he pulls out his fancy masterwork dagger. So that's normally a plus six, but in this case it is a plus four. Whoopsie. Slash roll. Natural! Nice. <laughs> he fucking, he's trying <laughs> to grab the dagger, and there's like a rat nearby, and he's like, God damn it! God damn it! Adrian, you hear all of this from the trapdoor above. You see, like, Leviticus and, like, Tilly nearby be like, what the hell's going on? Uh, Adrian's gonna look at Leviticus. Lily Dance, you can make a disruption somewhere. Uh, one distraction coming right up. He starts running off. All right. And I start making my way towards this trap door. Alright, you arrive at the trap door. That's your move action. You look down, it is locked, and there's a weird magical sigil on it. 
Oh, shit. Hmm. Can I make a check to figure this thing out? To figure out how to open it? Or what the sigil is? Well, figure out from looking at it, figuring out exactly what it is and how to open it. Uh, uh, presumably, you would just seem to unlock. You just unlock the latch. But if you want to know what spell it is, that would be a uh, that'd be a spellcraft check. Ah, uh, can I roll Arcana? Uh, Arcana would no. This is specifically spellcraft, unfortunately. Fuck. Okay. Fuck. Ugh. It it's it's a spell. She, she did magic to lock spell door good. Okay, uh, can I take a couple of steps back and then uh, hook it? Basically, just throw my hook at it as hard as I can. All right, you, gra you grab your grappling hook and you, like, throw it into the door? No, I'm aiming for the lock. Uh, I mean, it's just a latch. You can undo the latch without a check. Oh, I thought it was, like, locked. Oh, okay. It, it's locked, but it's locked with, like, a it like a, like a deadbolt, basically. So he can't open it from that side, but you can open it easily from this side. Okay. Adrian goes ahead and flips it. All right. The latch is open. Now, what am I Jesus looking at? Christ, be careful. All right. You try to open it. It doesn't move, and the weird sigil on the door glows. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, duck and roll. A duck and roll. All right, cool. I'm freaking. Uh, I'm glad you understand how this spell works. This is a reflex save against Glyph of Warding. <laughs> Fuck. Okay. Oh. Okay. Mm -hmm. Does that mean it's gonna blow up? Me I mean, it starts. To, it starts to glow, and I'm. You said duck and roll, so I assume you realize how this spell works. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Do I need to make a roll? This is a reflex save against the Glyph of Warding spell, yes. Let's go. Reflex. Where is that? Is that under something? Uh, I would be a saving throw. It's on your character sheet. Uh, Do you not see reflex saves on your character sheet? Uh, oh, fort, there it is. Okay. Fort Reflex Will. Oh boy, this is gonna hurt. Fuck. Alright, so basically, you grab the thing, you start to open it, the sigil begins to glow, and you're like, ah, shit, what do I do? And you, like, try and duck and roll. However, you mostly just kind of, like, start looking around and realize you're, like, surrounded by beds. At which point, <sighs> takes six points of cold damage. That was a bad roll. Oh. Thank God, that's a bad rule. Mm -hmm. Adrian's unconscious. Adrian's unconscious? Oh shit! No, don't, don't you? Don't, no, you're, you're a tiefling. Don't you have cold resist? Oh. So then there's three. Uh, I don't know how much cold resist you have. I have five. All right, so that means <laughs> minus five. That means you took one cold damage. Oh, nice. Like, sorry, I was thinking D and D. I was like, damn, I'm dead. Okay, no, no, no. <laughs> resistance is resistance isn't binary. It's just minus X amount of damage from however much you take. Okay. Well, the sigil's uh, gone. I hope. Yes, the sigil is gone. But unfortunately, that is most of your turn. Okay. So you're, you're basically, you unlock it, you try to open the door, Glyph of Warding goes off, you go, shit, you dodge, but I make a bad damage roll, and also you resist to cold. And I should have probably realized that, but unfortunately a fire or acid trap wouldn't really work on the ship. Anywho, <laughs> Ben, you're you're being flanked. Uh, both oh, sorry, Kevin. Jigs. Hello. Uh, at, since we're at the top of the order here, is Leviticus's distraction perhaps pulling Necrio away from this conversation, or is she just still laying into fish guts? Uh, Leviticus's distraction was at the start of Adrian's turn, so it will go off again at the start of Adrian's turn. Okay, cool. Currently, you are flanked, though. Would you like to continue stabbing Phipps? And also, your Intimidate on Japes wears off. You see he is just... 
He's swinging at you. He's like palming his dagger. He's gonna be like, "This is what for what you guys did two weeks ago, and you guys embarrassed me in front of all my friends. You're trying to steal my girlfriend away from me." Your girlfriend. <laughs> what a fucking loser. <laughs> Red is the only woman I ever loved. Oh, that's what he meant. I, was I don't know nothing. About, I, I haven't even spoken to the Serena, so I don't know what you're what you're on about. Fuck you! You're stupid, dude. You're. I think you're beating up the wrong guy over over your girl problem. Fuck you! Continues attempting to stab you. <laughs> All right. So his, his I am intelligence going... score is like half of yours. So I'm going to uh, go ahead and take a stab at Jape, but I'm going to try to reason with Tips and say, look, you play enough cards to know when someone's holding all the cards. You don't want to keep pushing this. Basically trying to to uh, hit that gambler logic for Phipps to make him back down as I focus on Jape. All right. All right. I'll, I'll let you roll diplomacy as part of an attack, but you'll be taking a penalty. Or your diplomacy can be your attack. You don't get two standard actions. Uh, nine, you stab towards Phipps. Uh, you attempt to make a gesture towards uh, Japes or towards Phipps, but it's really hard to make a suggestion going. Is there like there's weapons swinging around? Uh, Phipps steps forward and is like, "You may have stabbed me in the guts, but I assure you, this ain't nothing Necria can't fix with her magic. You would not be believe what she'd be promising me if I can get rid of you." Stabs. All right. Yikes. And, uh, oh yeah, your thing. Would you like to yes, attempt to parry that? I would attempt like to attempt to parry. Roll your parry. Damn. Oops. Okay. Oh my god, that's that's full damage. Ven does an amazing parry, but I do believe you have to spend a point if you want to attempt to repost. And I will do ah. that. Uh, and is repost just automatic damage or? I believe I get to take an attack roll after that, but let me double check. Uh, it's been a while since I had a swashbuckler in the party. Oh, yeah, so you spend you spend your point to attempt to parry, and then you can uh, do 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 make an attack roll. Uh, do, do, do. Make another attack roll. Uh, upon parrying, you can you can as the immediate action make an attack roll. Uh, yeah, so the uh, the repost doesn't take another point. Oh, you can just link it like that. Cool. Okay. Uh, cool. So then your repost is 21, so that's towards Phipps. Yep. Cool. He takes 5 points O damage. Uh, surprisingly, that does not bring him down. He, he's like, you've stabbed him twice for quite a bit of damage, and he is still standing, and he just, like, roars, and, like, you just see, like, blood on his face as he, like, the big guy just loses all sense of reason, and he's like, oh, this time you fucking did it! At this point, and he just kind of walks forward, pulls out his dagger, Japes aims for your neck. 15 versus AC. 16. 16, damn, okay. You Jeez. dodged that one. Uh, Adrian, you are laying on the ground. Uh, you can update your hit point for the single point of damage you took from setting off that trap. Very nice. Uh, it, it still says six out of six in your sheet on your token. What? It, it's five, six for me. Does it? Uh, well, anywho. Well, anywho, it doesn't, doesn't really matter. But the symbol appears to be gone. At this point, you hear you hear Leviticus make his way up to the top of the deck. It's like, oh my god, did you hear Owlbear just got out of his cage? And you just hear Neck be like, what the fuck? Not now! And what's it called? Tilly just kind of stays down there. Is like, should I be down here right now? Or would you like me to go upstairs? It's best you disappear. Okay, disappearing. Have fun. She runs upstairs and you are completely alone on the bu bunk deck. All right. Now, how blown up did this door get? Uh, surprisingly, the door itself didn't take any damage. Like, the two nearby bed sheets are, like, ruined. And you yourself okay. would also probably be ruined if you weren't a tiefling. But the ship itself is completely <laughs> undamaged, except for maybe a few icicles here and there. This was clearly a okay. magical trap. 
I'm walking in and kicking the door open. Okay, move action. You open the trap door. You look straight down into the into the bilges. Uh, you see Ven. He is in a corner. He is parrying as best he can with his uh, with his rapier. However, there's two people and there's only one Ven. Uh, would you like to jump down? Oh yeah. All right. So move action. Open trap door. Move action. Here in the bilges. Would you like to land? I would like to land on top of Jake, if I can. <laughs> cool. Just... That that sounds. And are you attempting to like knock him to the ground? Uh, I'd say like if you need to make a roll to just figure out exactly what happens. I'm saying, what are you attempting to accomplish? Are you just like charging and punching him? Are you trying to like knock oh, him to the ground? Are you trying? I'm to, landing like... on his shoulders, feet. Uh, that sounds like CMD then. Let's see. CMD? Oh, D. Com there no, it is. D. Combat maneuver. Combat maneuver. Bonus. bonus. The D is the defense, B is your bonus, so you want CMB. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Bah. Uh, you get plus two because this is essentially a charge. Uh, Let's go. That'll do it. All right, cool. So basically, you see. Adrian just swing open the thing at the top. He jumps down to the bilges. You land directly on Jape. He's like, ah! And he just, like, falls into his back. So he is now prone, and you are basically standing where you are, as it were. So you're, like, you were, like, right behind on him. Uh, do you do, like, a Shawn Michaels kick up at the end, or do you continue sitting on him? Oh, yeah, nah. I just, I stay on top of him. Okay, you... <laughs> Until he tosses me off. Are, are you... Is that a yes? You're still sitting on him? Yeah. Alright, cool. Then you are prone. Uh, Ven! Oh, two prone people next to you, and there is a Phipps who has gone into essentially a barbarian rage. He's got, like, two hit points left, but he is now beyond reason. Uh, what do you very do to sad. this old gambler? Do you attempt to knock him out, or do you put him out of his misery? It's a minus four to hit to attempt a non-lethal? Minus four for non-lethal, yes. Alright, minus four applied. Let's try to get him out of this. Because a uh, 14 hit him. 14 hits him. How do you knock out this old gambler? So, he's going into his barbarian rage, he's frothing, and I just kind of do with the backswing, like, smack him with the hilt in the temple, and he just crumples he crumples to the ground he is now unconscious uh phipps is unconscious say, oh hey adrian nice to see you drop in <laughs> uh japes is on the ground however as adrian is like falling onto him he takes his dagger and he aims it squarely at adrian's like legs as they're falling onto him i'm here to save you 11 versus your <laughs> legs. I hit your AC. Um, should it be another minus 4 for him being prone? Uh, oh yeah, so that does not hit in any way. Nice. Alright, cool. You are continuing to sit on him. He swings his dagger incredibly ir irreplaceable. He's like, I'm gonna fucking kill you! How does Adrian react? You have him, you are, you have him sat. Well, we'll see about that. And he'll wink at him. Uh, do you uh, uh, start a grapple, or are you just Oh, is this my turn? Yeah, it's your turn. Okay. Um, you want to use your boom. shocking grasp on him? You're both kind of in the I water. am going to use my shocking grasp. Oh, boom. boy. All right. Uh, you're going to get... <laughs> it's called you're, you're prone, so you're taking a... Actually, no, you're both prone, so you don't really take penalties for attacking each other. Uh, Adrian's gonna snap his fingers as lightning streaks across his hands and bah, it's gonna touch his nose. Okay, uh, actually, uh, for Shocking Grasp, uh, you get a bonus if you grab something metal he's holding. Like, say, his dagger. I'm doing that. You get plus three that. to hit if he is carrying a metal weapon. Because magnets. Okay. Cool, roll Dragon me a melee roll. touch attack. 
Fuck! Oh. Oh. Unfortunately, it is just so hard to grab a hold of him when you're like you're the one sitting on him, basically. You, you're, what's it called? You're both prone. Your hand is like charged with electricity, but you're both like flailing at each other, and you can't really like get a grab of him because your hands don't bend that far that way. Ven, I'm so useless. <laughs> How do you see your Adrian and Japer flailing at each other? I mean, what is there to do other than stab Jape, ideally through the neck? All right, roll to hit Jape. You got plus four to hit because he is thrown. Crit confirm. <laughs> Jesus Ish. Christ. Um, Ven... Actually, that is probably not actually going to confirm with a seven. You get plus four because he's prone. Oh. So that is a, actually confirmed? That's an 11. That's his AC. So, uh, Ven, how do you kill Japes? So I did specify I was going for that spot straight through the neck. Apparently I hit it dead on, hit the major artery, and as I pull it out, he's bleeding out. What's it called? Shape scream. What's it called? He attempts to, like, scream out for Necri as he's doing so, but you have stabbed him directly through the night, so all he can manage is a whisper. And at the end of it all, Adrian, your pants are just covered in watery blood. I'm going to have to get a new outfit after this. I'm just going to rush down there. Yeah, at, yes, at, so, at this so point, uh, yeah, at this point, Jean and, uh, honestly, after the explode, after, like, the, what's it called, the fucking, uh, the explosion of, like, fucking, uh, after, like, after, uh, sorry, after Adrian, like, triggered the explosion, pretty much the entire ship would have probably heard, like, the glyph of war going off. At which point, like, Sandra... I'll say you guys get there first, but you immediately hear, like, Necria, Fish Guts, Shiva. Basically, like, every every major person on the ship immediately start, like, running down to the bilges. But, so, uh, can we have a chance for the distraction that was being set up to delay them a couple of rounds that's before exactly, they show up? That's exactly what I was about to say. So, you guys got, like, 30 seconds, basically, all to yourselves. So yeah, what uh, I am doing Andrew. is I'm rehiding my rapier, and I'm going to grab the the masterwork knife that Japes came in with, and going to basically make that match his wounds, so it looks like like it was his own weapon that killed him. All right, and I am going to try to stabilize Phipps. All yeah. right, cool. So then you're taking care of the scene of the crime. Uh, Adrian, what are you doing? You got thirty seconds. I am ducking out. Just running. Well, um, Adrian was saying, "Then I think it is. I think it's best that you play beaten on the ground, and everyone else just disappears." No, I don't think I will. But you should definitely just get 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 yourself out of here. Oh, Gian, All right. did, did Gian make it here before the rest of everyone? Uh, Gian and Sandra, you have now arrived. Jian, uh, can you get a cure on Phipps here to stabilize him and maybe close up some of those rapier wounds? Uh, yes. I'm also wondering if I can. Does the crit insta kill Jape? Can I not stabilize him with my stabilize? Uh, normally yes. However, you did you did enough damage to him that he actually just died straight up. Okay. Jape's is like dead, dead. <laughs> that is a bad look. Um, yeah. So I'll I'll hit. Fucking Phipps with the stabilize to get him to not die. Uh, Phipps is actually um, already stable. He's alive at actually two hit points right now. Cool. I will then attempt to maybe can I hit him with a cure light wounds to like get rid of the rapier marks? That would that would be a great use of cure light wounds. Okay. Okay. Sweet. I will do that then. I'm cool. sorry. He... I still haven't turned off the spell failure thing. But... All good. All right. So he gains plus six HP. So that gets rid of one of the rapier wounds. Can it just possibly fade both of them out a little bit so it's a little bit more questionable what made the wounds? Yeah, so instead, all right, so you still got like two pokes, but they're like more dagger shaped pokes as opposed to uh, yeah. rapier shaped pokes. Yep, and I'm going to suggest Gian and Adrian get out of here before the uh, before the rest show up. Yeah, okay. Sandra, what's your uh, reaction to all this? Um, oh, fuck, I don't even know. Uh, I was gonna say have him play dead, but I I don't know. She she'll uh 
sh she'll grab the masterwork dagger, I guess. Cut. If, if you let her, she'll alibi, like. Though. Yeah, just for a second. She'll if if you let her, she'll like cut your shirt, spread some blood on it, oh, okay. and then just fucking book it. All right. Okay. Ven, do you allow this? Yes. Maybe All help. Right. Just trying to help the scene. All right. At which point you just hear like thump, 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 coming down the stairs as Leviticus is just kind of standing next to Necrius. Like, and then there was this gigantic purple, and Necrius just like grabs a hold of like Leviticus by the neck, just throws him into one of the nearby bunks. She kind of walks over. Is like, what the fuck happened? Why the fuck are you four here? What the uh, fuck Ajo's happened? Uh, I will say, did, did we, didn't we flee the scene? Or? Yeah, two yeah, of you guys I... fled the scene, but I think two of you guys are still there. I was the only yeah. person, I was the only one still here. Yeah, I dipped after hitting that. Uh, okay, I, I I need to hear that part. All right. So I, the three you guys have led, she, what's it called? The three, or the three guys, well, she's coming down the stairs. She, she guys could either be running up the stairs or already on the, the third floor. I feel like... Adrian's... Like ducking his like bloody clothes. Where? Um. Because there's only one okay, set of stairs like that heads down. Is there a barrel we can toss it to? Sure. Yeah. So you're you're behind a bit. So the three guys are hiding behind barrels. Then. All right. Cool. Perfect. So Necria comes down the stairs, walks over, looks down, sees uh Ven sitting there, sees Phipps and Japes and Conjunces. What the fuck happened here? Well, your your man Japes here decided My man that, Japes. Yeah, he decided he would try to come at me with a knife. I showed him that was a bad idea. Phipps disagreed. I showed him that was a bad idea. I don't think this one's gonna make it, but I but Phipps should wake up soon. She glares at you. Roll me bluff. Holy Jeez, shit! Oh my god! All right, what the fuck is her sense motive? All right, oh my god! No, she that does not have any skill. Oh my god, cleric suck! I have no skill ranks in this character. Fourteen. <laughs> she believes your bullshit. Oh my god! Uh, she looks at you like trying to be suspicious of what happened. But right. she knows for a fact that he was coming down here to try to beat me up, so my story is 100% plausible. I know, that's what, that's what, that's what's <laughs> great about this scene. She looks at you and is like, really? Japes came at you, and he tried to kill you. Like, you can see that she's saying it in a way that she's trying to make it obvious that she wasn't the one who asked Japes to do this. And, and I had I had to defend myself using his weapon, and it's a real shame he couldn't keep a better hold on it. You grabbed Japes' weapon and you stabbed him with his own knife. I mean, look at the mess of his throat. Yeah, it's kind of messy, but it, it got the job done. But I'm going to be keeping this knife. It's very nice. That knife... Let me see that knife. I hand it to her for inspection. She looks at the knife. She walks over to Japes' corpse. She starts, like, shaping it, and it's clear, like, the knife fits the holes. She's, like, really frowning as she as she just starts, like, grumbling to herself. So you stabbed Japes with his own knife, and he came at you. And Phipps here. What happened to him? Well, he didn't seem to like what I did to Japes. Um, I had to hit him a couple times, but I made a point of trying to not... Do the same. I didn't think killing two crew members in one fight was a good idea, so I wound up hitting him in the side of the head, knocking him unconscious. He'll, he'll get up soon, I'm sure. Huh. <laughs> she, she's she's like she strokes her chin, looking at you like trying to find a hole in your story, and she's unable to. And she's like really, she's like frowning that she's unable to find a hole in your story. And she's like, well, you did kill Japes in self-defense. And from what I be seeing here, the crime scene does match up to your story. As a result, I got nothing against you. However, Phipps here looks like he's still alive. Even barely. And you just see, like, her frown on her face just turn to, like, not a smile, but, like, an evil smile. Like, as if, uh... 
as if, well, if they didn't fucking kill you, I want someone dead today sort of smile. The price for attempted murder is keelhauling. You folks, grab Phipps! Bring him up top! We're gonna have a keelhauling tomorrow! You got for attempted it. murder! Eek. And you see, like, Leviticus come nearby. He's like, okay. But, and, like, Leviticus, Cocky, and Roy, all of them grab Fitz's fat ass to drag him upstairs to get Keel off tomorrow. No, no, hang on. Well, while Fitz did attack me, he, he, was, he was very upset over his friend's death. I'm certain we could arrange for some lesser punishment for him. Are you questioning my authority? No, no. Not, not, I'm just saying, we... I don't want you to have to stop and recruit again. I know how much of a hassle it is. Keep him a li live member of the crew. Only serves us to save us time and energy. Well, normally you'd have a point there, Ven. But luckily, I got some good news to dispel that. And she kind of, like, glares at you, revealing some gold teeth. Guess what Aretta saw from the crow's nest today? Ooh. Ooh, what did she see? We got some sales on the horizon. But don't worry, there's going to be plenty of recruitment when we catch up to them. <laughs> Bring Phipps up to be keelhauled! And they do so, leaving the party relatively alone on the lower decks. Well, Man, I that's suppose. not how I was expecting that counter to go. <laughs> Oh, that is a high crushed. roll on the bluff. That was an amazing, <laughs> that is like the, the best bluff. The most bluff roll. Good job, Ben. If I didn't already give you a hero point, you would have gotten a hero point for that. Alright, party is pretty much alone on the lower decks, except maybe Leviticus. What does oh. party do? Jesus I Christ, the... I cannot believe that just happened. Well, that's one thorn out of our side. <laughs> yeah, fuck that guy, I'm glad you um, killed him. I and really Necro would will like also to find a... Necro Sorry, will also ahead. give you back the Masterwork Dagger. Appreciate it. I really do wish we had a way to save Phipps, but I can't think of one. Can any of you think of some way to save him from a Keel Holland? Nope. I... Like, Not he's a please. bastard, but his only real flaw was following Jake's. Yeah, I, I feel like the only way we save him is getting ourselves killed by Nekria in his place. Yeah. I, I could kill him on the way so he doesn't have a painful death, probably. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it also might be for the best if he just gets killed, considering uh, he actually knows that you had a weapon, and it might change Necria's mind on the whole you're innocent in all this. I mean, you're not wrong. Then again, saving Japes, saving uh, him from getting keelhauled is definitely a way to make a friend for life. Right, and potentially someone who'd be willing to fudge a little detail like that, given the rest of the story lines up. Yes. Oh, what can we do? That's a good question. <laughs> I'm going to I'm... run to the restroom real quick while we ponder this. I'll All be right. back in two minutes. I suppose if we really wanted to, we could try our best to make him look useful. Actually, can we take a break? Oh yeah, it's it's nine thirty, so I figured we were going to be calling it he like soon anyway. But yeah, I guess want... we can leave it on the looming fight too. Actually, no. Go, feel free to take a break. I'll let you finish this conversation before we call it. Cool. Uh, I guess I'll do that too then. Hmm. Well, that went way better than expected. Very much so. I was expecting one of you guys yeah. to get killed. I can't believe... Well, I kind of didn't want Jape to die. I feel like that's going to cause us more issues than we already have, but... Yep. But I mean, what's Necro going to do? Like <laughs> the, the 19 bluff kind of saved Advent's life. <laughs> mm -hmm. For now, at least.
Hello. Howdy. Hey. Party is deciding what they want to do. I think the only way we can save uh, Phipps is, um, what's the word? Is if we tr somehow manage to convince Necria that he's still useful. What does he do on the ship? Do we know? Uh, Not you, a clue. You know Phipps is rigger. Uh, he generally was up there, or like moving ropes, moving the sails up and down. Which doesn't make a whole lot of sense, given he's a big fat guy. Uh, you know he was part of Japes' crew, and you also know he's like the main gambling guy on the ship. He's like the only person here that, one, knows how to deal a deck of cards correctly, and two, everyone mostly trusts to be fair with a deck of cards. Oh, oh, what if Leviticus is a rigger too, right? And he, yes. It's, who, are there any other riggers? Uh, quite a few other riggers, yeah. Who? Uh, people you know who are riggers. Uh, uh, Conky Bar is a rigger. Jack's a rigger. Uh, Shivika's a rigger. Aretta's a rigger. Uh, all the short people on the ship are riggers. Okay. I bet if we could, if you know, a, there was a sudden shortage of Jesus, a sudden shortage of riggers. Just like maybe if they're pretend sick or, you know, whatever the hell. Uh, then, of course, we would need Phipps alive. Yeah. Since we'd uh, have a shortage of riggers. I feel like... Eh, yeah, that could work. It's a bit of a stretch, but that's... I mean, all we can really do is go for a stretch at this point, I'd feel... Yeah, are the rest of the riggers friendly enough with us that they'll just be like, yeah, we'll pretend to be sick and risk uh, getting our asses kicked by Necria? You tell me. Lord knows. Cocky, not really. Who are the other riggers again? Sorry. Leviticus is our homie. He probably would. Uh, Leviticus is one of your, is a rigger. Uh, Mazer's son, Jack, is a rigger. Uh, Conky Bar is a rigger. Uh, uh, you know, Shiva's a rigger, Aretta's a rigger. You're friends with a lot of the riggers, not friends with all of them. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't think we need all of them to go away, but we still need a certain amount of riggers. Yes. The way I see it, the the two main, I guess, factions of the uh, of our groups, like of the people on the ship, are we're Phipps and us. And now that Phipps is dead, or not Phipps, Japes and us. And now that Japes is dead, that certainly gives us a lot of opportunities. Yep. Yeah, I, I'm sure uh, Reddo is probably more friendly to joining us now that fucking Jape is dead, and the <laughs> other member of the crew is about to be dead. Another thing to keep in mind, if you'll recall, Necria said they spotted a ship on the horizon, and she specifically used the word recruitment. That's true. I am back. Did I miss any good ideas? Fight. No. We're thinking maybe get the riggers to play sick or something so that Phipps is needed. Um, so actually, I'm curious, um, is there, are any of the other officers able to gain, say, uh, Necria in this sort of thing? Like, if we were to appeal to, say, the gunnery officer that we impressed? Entirely possible. Ooh. She's, she's still around, depends if you want to talk to her. How good did Phipps do in the training in the past couple of days? Ah, uh, he was about average, maybe a little bit less than average, given he was a really big fat guy. But he's definitely got the dexterity to operate cannons. Yeah, I want to see if we can talk to him. Like, he seems to have a good impression of of us, or at least me. And I think that we might be able to talk, talk him into doing something. Certainly. Or at the very least, see if it would be suicide even trying to 
make any waves in this regard. Yeah, that might be our best bet. We could also, you know, it's his last chance. He's got to prove himself in the upcoming fight when he wakes up, you know? I mean, there's an idea. You guys are going into know. battle. Yeah. Also, you what you're saying is all we need to do is put him in the limelight, you know? I mean, he do he's a fucking berserker. He took a lot of hits to go down, you know? Like, maybe we give him a lease on life. Give Necker the idea that instead of a keel hauling, she might get to witness a few better deaths or him dying more brutally by being on the front lines. Oh, I like that idea. All we need to do is, you know, stage a conversation where, oh, I wish, uh, I sure wish I could see him die in a fight instead of a keel haul. That would be much more interesting, you know, like that. Yeah. Maybe we'll possibly get that idea. conversation coming from one of her favorites. Maybe, uh, if you if you want, if you're friendly with Aretta, she's been one of Necria's favorites. Maybe have that's true. Have that message coming from her. All we need to do is ask Sounds her to like play along. Idea. Yeah, I can definitely go talk to Aretta, see if she's on board with that. And like we were just saying, like two of the three of her members of the crew she was rolling with are now dead or about to be dead, so she's got more than enough incentive to join us. I think if uh, if people see that Phipps has not only abandoned Jape and joined us instead, I think uh, I think that would certainly make some incentive to follow suit. Phipps was like Jape's right hand, wasn't he? Yes. Okay. I'm down to uh, give this a shot. Right. This plan is certainly coming to fruition. So I'm glad this party get, does so give... much planning. It's very different from how I normally DM, which is people yeah. just going by the seat of their pants. <laughs> <laughs> it's very different. I've played in other parties that don't do that at all. Uh, but So the plan seems uh, give Necria the idea to have Phipps die in glorious combat, uh, then make that combat more glorious and prove his worth instead. Yeah, that's one line of attack, and then the other option, the other thing I did want to try is get uh, one of you more charismatic type folks with me to go try talking to Raris. Who? Okay. Who? The uh, the gunner or the trainer that we did. Oh well, oh. I'd uh, I'd love to give that a shot. I'm good at convincing people. Sweet. Okay, I'll talk to Aretta. You talk to the officer, and see what we can right, work so out. Everybody's talking to somebody. Mm -hmm. So going from the roll twenty list, monkey, where are you? Who are you talking to? Uh, the officer. What? What are we trying to convince her again? To see if it is feasible at all for her to intervene, um, w with Necria's planned keel hauling. Oh. Uh, so just approach her and say, please don't keel haul Phipps, or. Uh, I think basically so... giving a little bit more rational arguments behind it, but that's the general idea. Uh of, hey, are we sure we want to keel haul a crew member who did nothing that we wouldn't expect of any other crew member? Yeah. Or maybe try and convince her to go with the glorious combat idea instead as well. Alright. Right. So, sounds like a diplomacy think... check. Okay. Uh, so yeah, she'll, she'll walk up to him, uh, you know, start some conversation, try and get it to lead into, like, Oh, you know, it would be much better to see him uh, die in a fight. I've always wanted to see someone like him fight. I uh, He hasn't talked to me much, but I've overheard some people talking about how he can go crazy. All right, I'll give you a plus two on your diplomacy check, since you guys are actually doing a plan, which I love. Uh, let's see. Uh, diplomacy, plus six, then plus two, so let's say 16. Are you telling oh, yeah. me Necria is going to be keelhauling someone on the eve of a battle? That's ridiculous. Uh, I know, it's insane. We but, need as many uh, bodies as we can get, if, especially if we're going into battle. Oh, and Phipps, I've heard he's got one great for a soaking up hits like that. Oh, man, I've seen that I've seen that guy load like, the guy's really big, but he's got quite the hand on him. I've seen him like shoot pretty good when when we were when we were on crossbow drills before you guys came. I'll I'll talk to Necker, I'll see what I can do. Yeah, I'd like to see a Cannonball bounce off of him. Much appreciate you. It's good to see at least some someone here with some sense. 
You didn't. You didn't give me this idea, though. This one's my idea. Of course Fair it enough. was. Yeah, All right, Ven, who are you talking to? Oh, I was planning on being there with with uh, oh. Monkey when he was talking. I you you could roll to assist, but <laughs> looks like Sandra did it all on her own. Yeah, it's fine. I I was just there. I like I felt like those arguments were being made perfectly well. I'm not going to to make uh make cool. It, Ven gets make to it worse. stand there and look pretty. It's a hype man. All right, Adrian. Before I forget you again, what are you doing tonight? <laughs> oh, I was gonna go with uh, Jean to give him help. All right, Jean, where are you going? Talking to Aretta. All right. You see Aretta. She is on the top deck. You see her being one of the people who's, like, forcing Phipps into the sweat box. And they're, like, intentionally forcing him. It, it's like that thing where it's, like, someone's trying to put on a shirt that's, like, two sizes too small for him. And his, like, his fat is, like, sticking out in between all the bars. <laughs> And she's, like, uh, walking over to him. She's, like, talking to something. But as soon as you guys show up, she just, like, immediately walks away from him. As if she was embarrassed to be talking to Phipps. Okay, I walk up to Aretta and I say, Aretta, the time for fence-sitting is over. You've seen what's happened today. You know who the better group to come with I didn't is. expect we... you to fucking murder him. They tried to murder Vin. He just defended himself. But yes, listen. but they... Oh my god, how the hell are you- how the hell is Phipps in that cage and not you? Because, clearly, we have Besmara's favor here. Now listen, <laughs> we are trying to save Phipps, but we need your help in this. Save Phipps? You put him in that cage! We did not! We did not! I listened to the conversation, Necrio wants to kill Phipps. We don't want that to happen. Necrio wants to kill someone. She wants to kill you guys, and she didn't get that, so Phipps is dead now. Okay. We can save him. We How? can save him. So we have, we're going with a two pronged attack here. We're, we're talking to another one of the officers, but we know that Necro is not going to listen to fuck all that we say. So we need you to pitch the idea that instead of keel hauling Phipps or boring life, why not give him a chance to prove himself in battle, cause some bloodshed that Necro surely is going to fucking come all over, and then. He is either going to die valiantly in battle, and Necri is going to get what she wants, or he's going to kill a bunch of people, and Necri is also going to get what she wants. But she's not going to listen to us. You have an in with her. If our plan of getting another officer to intervene doesn't work, if you can step up with that idea, that would be awesome. I... Man, my in with Necri was Japes, but I... Roll me diplomacy. You can give him a plus two, Adrian, just for... <laughs> Not even rolling, you just get a free plus two. Okay, sweet. Nice. Plus nine to this roll, so hopefully uh works out. Damn. That's a pretty good okay, roll. Well, yeah, the, the first one was technically my roll, it just wasn't loading, so I clicked twice, but 15 or 21. <laughs> Take your pick. Aretta <laughs> looks at... She just kind of looks out towards the sea for a moment, looks back towards you two, and says... If I do this, please tell me I'm not going to regret this. You will not. And believe me, Japes dying was not part of the plan. I was happy to fucking kick his ass, but I didn't want him dead. Because that's causing more problems for us. This is not an ideal situation for either of us, and we're trying to keep the most people alive as we can. Well, if you're trying to keep people alive, well then I suppose that makes you better than Necria. Fine, I'll go talk to her. Appreciate that. She walks Thanks. off. And I believe Sweet. we call the day there. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, what a cool thing. Just... Happen tomorrow. <laughs> we will see what happens tomorrow. The ship was noticed today, and you guys will find out what happened to Japes on day twenty. Exciting stuff. Sweet. Hope y'all had fun. And yeah. Oh, yeah, that was a fun have, session. We got a lot done, and don't worry, things are going to be heating up when we get to uh, when we get to. Actually, you know what? You know what? We're not we're not quite there yet, but you know what? Fuck it, you guys have earned level two by this point. <laughs> awesome. We, we, awesome. We've, we've we've missed enough sessions, and we've been doing the same thing for a while. So I'll give you guys level two. Sweet. Yeah.
That is good. All right. That'll that That'll hopefully keep us alive in the upcoming combat. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, the reason Phipps survived as much as he did is because he's also level two. Ah. He has 14 whole hit points. Hardy boy. I mean, he's he's got, what's it called? He's got the trait where he's got, like, extra natural armor and con for being so fat. Nice. Nice. <laughs> But uh, anyway. Wait, there's a trait for that? Yes. Damn, I need that IRL. <laughs> Either way, exciting. I'm I'm very happy to. This is an event. <clears throat> this was an eventful session. Yes, yes, it was. Hope you all had fun. I will see you guys next week. We're oh, yeah. getting a lot done. Hold on, let me turn off the stream.